actually need to get the link. Hi! I see that there's three people here already, and that makes me really happy because I'm not by myself. Uh, so the footage for today's video, just the, the audio got so wonky, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do a Google Hangout today. I know it's Monday, and a lot of people started school, so I guess consider yourself lucky if you got to join me today. But I'm here. There's coffee. My question box is open, so feel free to ask questions. I am just going to answer them for as long as you guys keep giving them to me. I mean, there's going to be a limit, obviously, if you're at this for like two hours. I'm probably going to leave after that, but uh, one to two hours, I'm going to sit here and do this, so feel free to ask questions. Uh, I think you do have to be signed in to Google in order to ask questions. Oh, that was my phone. That was rude. I'm sorry. Let me... What's up, girl? <gasps> Simmer and Spice, you're here. Hi, I'm so happy you could join. Um, sorry, I need to get the link for this Hangout and post it so people will actually come hang out with us. <laughs> um, let's see, I was putting on mascara like right before this and I took a picture and I'm going to um, come hang out. I'm Instagramming right now. If you don't have my Instagram, I think it's Instagram.com backslash Chloe Copper Fox. So you should come follow me on Instagram so we can all hang out together. Um, I mean, we're hanging out right now if you're here. But <laughs> um, again, feel free to ask me questions. I'm pretty much an open book. So hi, hi, uh, Blue Lover MC. Hi. I'm happy that you're here. Sorry, guys. I'm. I know I just said this, but more people have showed up. I am posting the link to all my social networks so everybody can come and join. So this is going to take me a second, but feel free to ask questions. I am open to answer them for the next, like, hour, maybe two hours. Uh, come hang out live with me on, is it Google Hangout? Is that what we're doing? <laughs> yeah, I think it's a Google Plus Hangout. Link in profile. Okay. I'm going to go get this link. I think that's how I do that. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I think that's how it's done, though. Let me go email this to myself. One second. I'm sorry. I wish I had another computer so I could just, like, have it next to me and do this. But I don't. So let's go ahead and do-do-do. Do-do-do. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Like, that's how I invite people to the Hangout. I'm really bad at this stuff. <laughs> okay, let me go ahead and get the link. Sorry, I keep hiccuping. I just started drinking coffee, and yeah. Let me go ahead and copy this. I need to go back to Instagram. Edit my profile. Take out that. Paste that. Done. Um, can I share this on Twitter? Is there, like, an actual, like, share button? Um, just did. How have you been? Oh, how have I been? Uh, Laguna, si La Laguna 66 Claudine, Claudine? Sorry if I'm butchering names. Wants to know how I'm doing? I'm doing great, actually. I don't know if you saw my update video where I was, like, on new medication and stuff. I'm actually finally getting used to my medication, and I'm not really sick anymore. Um, it comes up sometimes, like, a little bit. I'll have little flare-ups every now and again, but so far I'm doing great, which is awesome. And if you want to know more about that, there is, like, in my update video, I have a blog link all about it. and Yeah, so that's fun stuff. Uh, a link showed up for me. Oh, I know it's in my YouTube feed, so, like, if people see the YouTube video, it'll pop up, which is awesome. But I wanted to share it on Twitter and Instagram as well, so people could come join. So, I think I did it right. If somebody wants to go check that on my Twitter or Instagram, let me know if I gave you the right link, because if I didn't, that really sucks. <laughs> so, let's see... Um, Laguna66 also wants to know how long have you been into Sims and how did you get into Sims? This is a really good question. I don't think anybody's ever asked me this, surprisingly. So, great question. Thank you. Um, let me actually go ahead and select that question. So, um, how did I get... Okay, the first time I ever played Sims, it was with my 
lifelong friend. Her name is Lindsay. She's a fantastic person. I actually haven't seen her in a while, but um, it was with her, and she had The Sims 2 for PlayStation 2. So it was a console version, which I won't lie to you, if I had to pick between the... Um, if I had to pick between computer and console, I would pick the computer hands down. However, The Sims 2 was really cool because it was for two players, and it play, you can play split screen. So we would actually play it. That's how I, that, that was my first ever encounter with The Sims. I had seen like a family member play it before when The Sims 1 was out, but I never got to personally play. So that was like the first time I got to play, and then I went and bought the game the next day, and that's kind of where my love for Sims started. Then I got The Sims 2 for the computer, and I started playing, and then I got The Sims 3, like, the week that it launched, and that was how that started. I was just, like, like instantly hooked. Um, okay, let's see. So we answered that one. Uh, Brandon wants to know what was the saddest death saddest, yeah the saddest death you've ever had your time playing The Sims oh my goodness saddest death uh, there's two <laughs> one of them I actually do have on my channel and it's in a video and it was when Rain died because I didn't know because I'm really bad simmer I didn't know know that they would die if they were wet and they were working on electronical stuff and he just died. That was horrible. The other time was before I even started my channel I was playing The Sims 2 and I did the thing that I swear every girl does and I created a sim of myself, a sim of my now husband but at the time he's my boyfriend and I was playing through our family and he was an inventor. It might have actually been in The Sims 3. I think it was actually. He was an inventor and he electrocuted himself and died. And I was just like, oh, like there's my Sims future. No. So I actually reset my game and I was like, no, you will not die. Like I did not save the game and I didn't allow him to die, but it was still really sad. So that definitely like highest, most sad deaths ever. And Kiki's death. Sorry if I spoiled that for anyone just now, but that was pretty sad. Okay. Hey, oh, Lissa Simmers, oh my gosh, you're here. I feel like I haven't talked to you in forever. I'm so glad you're here. Don't be af don't be afraid to ask questions. I'm so happy you're here. Um, have you ever used a headset. Yes. Uh, not my very first microphone, but the like in between the one that I have now and using my laptop mic, I had a Logitech G330 or 3330 or something to that nature. It was actually a really good headset. Uh, it, it had pretty good audio quality for how inexpensive it was. Now I actually use... Oh, sorry, my bed is not even made. Don't even look at that. Uh, now I use my Yeti, and I actually feel sometimes, like, don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic microphone, but a lot of times I actually feel like it, maybe my capture doesn't, like, render the audio properly, and that's why I don't feel like it's as great sometimes. Sometimes the audio sounds crystal clear, and I'm like, oh, my voice sounds so good today, and then other days I'm like, ugh, what happened to that video? So sometimes it sounds really good. I think it's just me, because I don't have the mic in, like, a perfect position every time I record. It just kind of sits on my desk and I move it around, so that could have something to do with it. I don't know. I, not that you asked, I guess I'm just telling you. Um, let's see. What are you waiting for life as right now? Blue. Uh, so you mean like what's like the next step in life for me? Like, I don't know if I really understand the question. I guess that's how I'm going to answer it though. Um, probably the next big step I would say would be to have children. Um, it's not like something we want right this minute, but it would be the next big thing because me and my husband just got married last year. And so I, I wouldn't say I'm really waiting for that though. Like if I wanted that, I would do it. <laughs> but I, I don't know. That's kind of, can you reword that question and I'll come back to it? <laughs> um, let's see. Do, do, do. Uh, my dad has that mic. Awesome. I hope he really likes it because it's a cool mic. Um, I have a headset. I'm actually using it as headphones right now. Oh, so I'm like right in your ear, ear, ear holes right now. <laughs> um, let's see. 
I just started to use a headset. I have used it in, I think, two videos. That's awesome. Um, I hope it's a good one, and I hope you like it. It's not bad to use headsets. Like, I I think a lot of people either use, like, the Blue Yeti or the Blue Snowball, or uh, there's one other microphone that I've seen, and I don't know who makes it, but it looks a lot like the Blue Snowball. And, though, like, you don't have to have a microphone like that. So it doesn't have to be this, like, amazing, crazy $100 microphone to get really good quality. <clears throat> Let's see... If you had to dye your hair a bright, not natural color, what would it be? Example, pink, blue, green, or purple. Um, right now, if I was, I've had pink in my hair before. I should try to find you guys some pictures. I don't have any, like, physical pictures, but I probably do on my computer somewhere. Um, I used to put pink streaks in my hair when I was in high school, like, a lot. <laughs> Um, it looked cool. It looked like my hair was like a sunset because it was like it had like blonde pieces in it and orange pieces like right now because my hair is like red orange and then it had uh, pink in there so it was really cool. But probably if I had to do it like right now I'd probably do purple because I think I have green eyes naturally and I think purple really brings that out and I don't know I'm kind of on a purple kick right now. It's not my favorite color but like I just bought a new purple swimsuit and I there's some other things I just got that were purple too. Swimsuit I think I just got a new pair of shoes that are purple and a new shirt too so I've kind of been in a purple mood I guess. <laughs> but I actually really love putting bright colors in my hair. I haven't done it in a long time. Um, I just got my hair done, if you follow me on Instagram, and I put like a bunch of blonde in it. It looks gross right now because I just got out of the shower maybe a couple hours ago and it's just air dried, but uh, yeah, not that you asked that either. I don't know why I'm elaborating. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, people always comment about how good my audio is, and to be honest, I just dug up this headset from my cabinets. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you don't have to have this crazy expensive microphone to have good audio quality. I thought mine was actually pretty good with that headset that I had. And it was just a headset that my husband had bought a long time ago. The only reason I bought or he actually bought me the Blue Yeti for Christmas last year. The only reason he bought it for me was so if we ever wanted to film together, it can capture both of our voices together. So we haven't even used it for that yet. I just use it to record now because I think it's easier sometimes. But uh, that was the only reason we actually got it. <laughs> Let's see. Purple just reminds me of grape juice, but I love that color. Um, Dude, totally. But that's the thing is maybe that's like along the lines of why I love purple right now is I love everything grape. Like, don't get me wrong, I don't want to eat, like, grape-flavored candy, but, like, grape juice. Um, I like, sometimes I like grape-smelly things. Like, I, I like grape stuff, <laughs> which is weird because I feel like it's highly disliked sometimes. <laughs> people will be like, ew, grape. Like, when you, when you buy a box of Otter Pops and people are like, don't eat the grape ones, I don't know. <laughs> uh, who is your favorite singer and why? Uh, Laguna66 wants to know, Ew. oh man, there's so many. <laughs> I really like music. Can I go with like a favorite song right now instead? Um, I would probably, okay, let me answer the question first. My favorite singer, probably just because I have like every album ever and it, it's such a guilty pleasure. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe I'm admitting this to li live to all of you people. But uh, I really like Hilary Duff. <laughs> I have like every album she's ever been on and every movie and I've just loved her since she was in Lizzie McGuire. I used to watch the show every Friday. Like my friends would invite me to go do things like, oh, let's go cosmic bowling. And I'd be like, nope, sorry, I have to stay home because Lizzie McGuire's new episode is on tonight. Yeah, I was a little bit weird. I'm a little bit of an introvert. <laughs> but uh, Hilary Duff or Britney Spears I would have to go with because I own like all of the albums and they never get old to me. Uh, so probably one of them. But my favorite song right now is by, I'm going to tell you guys because it's a really great song and I don't think the artist is very well known. If she is, that's news to me. Let me pull it up because I have it on my phone. Do, 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 do. It's like Lindsay something. Oh my gosh, what is her name? This is going to make me crazy. No, no. Playlists. Okay. It is Lindsay Ray, so Ray like R-A-Y, and the song is called Party Dress. It is a fantastic song. Go listen to it. 
Okay, there's that. Um, I'm going to scroll down and try to get some of these questions, too, because I feel like I'm missing a lot. Like, the new ones come in at the top. So I wonder if I could change that. No, I guess I can't. Um, uh, Simmer and Spice wants to know, who do you think was the derpiest, funniest villain in the villain games like Ariel in villain form? Probably Hans. <laughs> I think that's why I liked him so much. Like, I didn't like him at first, and I was like, oh, you're so annoying, you never listen to me, and you do stupid things. And then, like, the episode that he died in, I was like, oh, I wanted him to win. He was so funny, and he made the show so funny because he was such a jerk, and he just never listened. <laughs> so probably Hans. I actually really liked him, and I hope that in the Villain Games 2.0, when that happens... Uh, I hope he gets voted in because he was awesome. <laughs> I know a lot of people hate him, though. Um, what custom content site is your favorite? Cinnamon Toasty wants to know. Uh, my favorite custom content site is probably The Sims Resources or Anubis Under the Sun, I think, is the other one that I like. Honestly, when I look for custom content, this is what I do. No joke. I don't have, like, a specific site. A lot of times I notice I get redirected to The Sims Resources, but... I will do a Google search for what I'm looking for. Like, say I'm looking for a braided hairstyle, because I kind of am right now, which you guys have given me so many great suggestions, so thank you for that. But um, say I'm looking for a braided hairstyle. So I just type that into Google, and then I go to images. I'll type in, like, Sims 3 braided hair. And then I'll go to images, and I'll find a picture of, like, a Sim that I see that has a really cool hairstyle. And then it usually will direct me to the website where I can download it. That, to me, is the easiest way to find custom content. It can be scary because you don't want to get, like, bad custom content. So it is kind of a gamble when you do it that way. But so far, I haven't had too many problems. Um, I would say the only time I ever had a problem, uh, it was that time I downloaded, like, some shoes, and it would make the children in the game have to, like, age them up. It was weird. Super glitch. That only happened one time, though. Um, okay, I really am going to scroll down and see if I can get some of these other ones. Okay, Diaz Lover 102 hi, I'm so glad you're here. Uh, coffee with copper, more like cereal with copper, lol. Yeah, I just woke up, it's 3.42 p.m. here. <gasps> oh my goodness, I was actually up early today because one of my really good friends that you guys have never met, I don't know why, because she's also another lifelong friend that I've had. Most of my friends are lifelong friends. Like, I have maybe one or two friends that I've met in the last couple of years, but... All of, like, my wedding party, they were all people I had known from, like, elementary school or even before. Um, well, no, some of them I met in, like, high school and middle school. But at least, like, high school was, like, the one friend that I've known for ten years. So, um, but, like, all the other ones I've known since I was, like, a kid. So, um, what was my point to this? Oh, yeah, she invited me over for mimosa brunch, so I actually had to get up early today. Even though it was brunch, I still had to get up at, like, 10, which is early for me. I usually don't get up until, like, noon. The life of a YouTuber, I guess. Um, that's the thing, though, is people are always like, man, you sleep till noon, you're so lazy, blah, 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 but you gotta remember is I go to bed at, like, 3 o'clock in the morning, so it's not like, um... It's not like I go to bed at 10 p.m. and sleep till noon. No, I'll sleep, I'll be up until like 3 or 4 a.m. and then wake up at like 11 or 12, so it's like 9 hours. Um, actually, guys, I just realized I haven't posted this to my Facebook page yet. Let me go do that so I can make sure I'm reaching my audience as far as I can. Um, let's see. Oh, man, I don't even think I put a filter on that link or on that picture on Instagram. My bad. Um, wait, is this not going to work? <sighs> Man, did I post the wrong link, guys? I think I might have. <laughs> um, shoot. One of you guys was supposed to check on this for me. I don't know how to get the link. How do I share this thing? No, no, cancel that. I just want the link. Um... Ooh, sorry, I hope that didn't make the thing weird. How do I do that? Drawing app? No, I don't want to do that. Screen share? No. Um, YouTube? No. Oh, you know what? Maybe I can just go to YouTube and get the link. Her derp. Why am I so dumb sometimes? Um, so I don't know if the link I even posted is working. <laughs> Whoops. 
that would be my bad. Uh, can I just go to my channel? Is that video, like, up there right now? It should be. You guys should have gotten a link in your inboxes and stuff. <gasps> Boo, it's not showing up. Uh, discussion, would it maybe be in discussion? Guys, why am I so bad at this? I really am. <laughs> um, I would think it would have shown up, but I don't see anything. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Um... This is not bueno. It is really not. I just want the link. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Where's my hangout? Okay, sorry. I thought I lost you guys. Um, I really don't know how to find it. Do any of you guys know? Do, 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 do. Who's your favorite YouTuber? That is such a hard question. Uh, Rebecca9183 wants to know who is your favorite YouTuber. I can't even answer that because <laughs> I feel like I'd be doing a disservice. Like, I feel like I'd forget someone or, like, I mean, you could check the people that I have listed in my sidebar on my channel, and obviously those are a lot of my favorite people because they're all so wonderful, but I probably stumble across someone new that I like at least once a week, like I subscribe to someone new. Also, I have other interests outside of The Sims, like... I'm subscribed to people like Elle Fowler and Blair Fowler and Lacey Green, who does um, more... I don't even call that channel. Um, I also like Hank and John Green and Daily Grace and Hannah Hart and Mamrie Hart. And I like, like, all the people that are pretty popular, but then I also have, like, smaller interests in communities. Like, I... There's a weight loss community that I used to be a part of that I still follow some of the people, and there's a PCOS community that I follow a little bit too, so I kind of have like this huge range of people that I watch, and I talk a lot with my hands. You guys are going to just notice that now that I said that. <laughs> um, oh my goodness, I just really, really, really would like, I think the link will work, and yes, I'm still, oh, hey, yay, my friend. Because she's star is right is talking to me. She's totally gonna be like, oh my gosh, I'm in the video now. Um let me see. Also, Star, if you are watching, thank you so much for letting me know whatever you said. I'm looking at it right now. Uh here you go. I think this link will work, and yes, I'm stalking you on your chat. <laughs> okay, I need to copy this link <laughs> and go put it in my Instagram description so you guys can actually follow or so people can actually come hang out. Okay, let me save that one. And then I feel like I should post this to Facebook too. What do you guys think? I'm sorry. I know this is boring and I'm not answering questions. I'm sitting here like doing stuff. Also, I haven't been drinking my coffee. It's going to get cold. Mm, cold coffee, one of the saddest things ever. Okay, uh, post. Hopefully this works because I'm going to post it to the Copper Fox page. Come hang out live with me. Post. Okay, I really hope this works. I'm posting it on my Sims 3 Cobber Fox Facebook page. Somebody should really go check it for me and let me know if it's working. Because that would be awesome. If I try to click on it on my phone, it doesn't... Oh, okay, I think it does work. Thank you, because she's star. You are fantastic. I think it worked. Because I tried to click on it just now, and it did. I'm also going to post it here... What am I doing? Oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. One more thing, and then I will be back to answer all your questions. <laughs> um, paste. Okay. Come hang out live with me. Post. I post it on, like, my personal account as well, so, like, if family wants to come hang out, they can come hang out and all that fun jazz. Okay. Uh, and if you missed it in the beginning of the episode, I am... Oh, thank you. Thank you, Because She Star. She said, yes, it worked. <laughs> um, what was I saying? I don't remember. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's get back to some of these questions. What's your favorite... Okay, what's your favorite Sims? Sims? Sims. 
Sims 1, Sims 2, Sims 3, or SimCity. I never pl I have never played SimCity, so I can't be a judge of that. Sims 1, I've only seen played. I've never played it. Sims 2 was great. Um, I'm going to say so far probably The Sims 3, though. And, well, I would say actually it's a toss-up between Sims 3 and Sims 2 life stories because that's my favorite thing about The Sims is the family aspect. And so having that all in one game, it's kind of like The Sims 3 Generations, except I felt like you got more actions. So it'd probably be a toss-up between those two. Okay, let's see. Before you started making series, did you tend to play for generations or start a new game almost every time you played? I, ooh, that's a tough question. I think it would really depend on the family. Like, um, also, if you guys didn't notice, my eyebrows are sisters today, not twins, because I really messed one of them up. I probably should have even told you. Now that's all you're going to notice, because I said that. <laughs> um... Uh, I'd probably go like a few generations, but what would happen is I really, really liked the house building aspect when I played alone and not with like commentary and stuff. So I'd build a house, make it like perfect for this family, and then they would have another baby or like the next generation would come in and I'd be like, oh, this house doesn't work anymore. I need to move. And so I felt like I was always starting new games, but not really. I was just moving the same Sims around. And a lot of times I would start new games. I'd get bored with the family I was working with. I don't think I've ever done a full 10 generations ever. Um, also, I'm really bad when it comes to cheating. <laughs> not when I'm doing a challenge. Um, I mean, I won't lie. There have been times, not in like with death rounds or anything like that, but when I was first doing Snatch by the Fae, I think it was, I played one episode like four times and my screen capture kept messing up. So I was like, you know what? I'm not playing through this episode again. I'm just going to cheat what I did and start from this point. And I totally forgot to edit the clip out in the game, in the video play. And so, so many people were like, dude, you so cheated. But... My problem is when I play alone is I cheat too much. I'm like, oh, this is so boring. I just need more money. And then it makes the game feel like it doesn't have a purpose anymore. Um, okay. Opinion on The Sims 4. Sophia Dew wants to know, yes, I finally get to talk about this. I don't feel like I've really given too many people my opinion on this. But first of all, when I first heard The Sims 4 was coming and they released the art for the game, I was like, ugh. Why are they going so cartoon styled? Why? Why would they do that? That's a step backwards. I hate it. And then I started seeing more gameplay videos and the demo came out and I was like, you know what? This is actually kind of cool. Like, I think I like it. So I'm a lot more comfortable with the cartoon style. I didn't like it at first though. I am pretty upset that they aren't going to have, is it, I think it's toddlers and pools, not children. I think toddlers and pools. So not having a pool isn't a huge deal to me, except if I want to continue like princess games or villain games in The Sims 4, that's going to be difficult because I use the pool sometimes, but I'm sure there'll be ways around it. Um, I'm more upset that they don't have toddlers. Like that, to me, why would they do that? That's a step backwards, and I'm really big on the family aspect, like I said, so to me, taking something like that out just makes me crazy. Um... Yeah, that just makes me insane. I really hope that they give us more options in The Sims 4. Like, um, in The Sims 2 Life Stories, you could bathe your child, and, like, the kids would be brats, and they'd go play in the toilet and, like, do all that stuff. I, I feel like The Sims 3 lacks that. I also would really love it if The Sims 4 would have more wedding options. Like, if the bride has a father, I think it'd be really cool to have the option to have the dad walk the daughter down the aisle. And I think, I mean, they did add cutting the cake later. Um, I wish they just had more. Like, I don't think there's a first dance option, and I think that would be really cool. Even though you can slow dance, I just wish they had more, like, wedding options or like have the best man make a toast or just things like that so I guess 
that's what I think about The Sims 4. That's what I hope for. That's what I think. And all in all, I'm really excited. Um, I plan to, I've already pre-ordered my copy, so I will have the game the day that it's out, and I will hopefully be recording that day. I'm really glad it comes out the beginning of September, too, because my anniversary with my husband falls in September as well. And I was like, man, you know if that falls on our wedding anniversary, like, we're not going anywhere. I'm going to stay home and play this game all weekend. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a terrible person. <laughs> uh, let's see. Cinnamon Toasty wants to know, what do you use to record your gameplay? This is a great question. Um, I actually use QuickTime Pro. However, what you need to know, and this is very important, is it does not work on a PC. You can only use it on a Mac, and this has been tested. Um, I tried to help my friend that has a PC with it, and it did not work. So you can only do it on a Mac, and that's what I use to record my audio and my gameplay. When I do eventually get a PC, I plan to move over and use Fraps instead. So if you're on a PC, Fraps might be the better option for you. But uh, if you're on a Mac, Final Cut Pro, it's already pre-installed on your Mac, or it should be, so it's good. Oh, and I just use iMovie to edit. And sometimes I will use... Um, did I say Final Cut Pro a second ago? I meant to say QuickTime Pro, but sometimes I'll use Final Cut Pro to edit as well. <clears throat> um, let's see. What kind of computer do you recommend for gaming with a bunch of expansions and custom content? Don't ever buy a Mac. <laughs> I know that's terrible because that's what I run my entire life on, but honestly, if I had the money to do it right now, like, if I didn't have all the memories and, like, photos and things I have stored on this computer, I would honestly turn this computer in and go purchase a PC. Like, this computer to me is not worth it. It's a really nice computer, and I bought it when I was in college, and uh, it was really great for school and stuff, but having... And it, it does have good editing software, I'll give it that. But... Using it for gameplay and stuff, it's terrible. The Sims runs terrible on it. I would recommend a desktop PC, preferably not a laptop. Some people do run on laptops, and it's okay. They make gaming laptops, but I would recommend... Um, you can check out this website called Newegg. New, like, just like it sounds, M-E-W-E-G-G.com. And they actually have discounts on PCs and PC parts. And sometimes uh, you can put in, like, the specifications of something that you want, and it will give you the best option for you. So that's where I plan to order my computer eventually. So there is that. Um, also, I've heard that Alienware is really good, uh, but they're really expensive. So, yeah. Like, if I could have my dream computer, I would have some kind of Alienware, I'm sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, Rebecca9183 wants to know, how did you come up with your username sims 3 Copper Fox? Is what I'm assuming you meant to write. Um, sims 3 Copper Fox, my husband and I, like, I used to run a YouTube channel a long time ago. I, my name was Chloe Kitten 14 and even if you tried to search it now, it's like a deleted channel. It's gone. But, um, I wanted to I wanted to keep an animal in my name. I knew that. And I wanted something that wasn't like sexy. Like to me a kitten could be like referred to as something sexy. I don't know why, just because society's weird. But I didn't want it to be something super sexy. I didn't I wanted it to be something that could be orange or red because I like love being a redhead. That's a big part of who I am and it's probably my favorite feature about myself. So I wanted to keep something that could be used like I was. I tried to be red copper, or I tried to be red fox. I tried to be orange fox. I even tried pink fox, and those were like all taken. But um, my husband actually came up with fox, and then I was like, okay, that's cool. Like a fox isn't even my favorite animal, but it was cool. I was cool with it. So I was like, okay, fox. Like, what can I do with that? I came up with the copper part. And then originally, when I first started YouTube, my name was Little Copper Fox, and. I realized very quickly that it was better to brand myself with The Sims 3, so I put The Sims 3 in front of it, and that's what my name is now. Hold on, I just got a text message from my friend, my friend that I did the uh, best friend tag with. Um, oh, she's saying really cute things to me, and I want to respond to them, but I'm going to wait. If she's watching this, I love you. She probably isn't, though. I'd be surprised. <laughs> Not because she doesn't watch my content, but just because she's not addicted to Facebook like I am, so it's a good thing. But, um, 
anyways, what was I saying? Oh, yes. So I orig I went back and rebranded myself with The Sims 3 part. So uh, that is kind of how that happened. And a lot of people have been asking me, am I going to change my name to Sims 4 Copper Fox? Probably not. Uh, I plan to just stay Sims 3 Copper Fox, even though I plan to do Sims 3 videos. So, or Sims 4 videos, sorry. <laughs> Let's see... Um, Abby wants to know how much would you like if you could use mother load cheat in real life um I don't even know <laughs> if I could have like money just cheated to me like right now like any amount I'd probably ask for like a billion like I'd probably ask for like just something ridiculously high and I would still make videos I would not stop working but I would probably have like four houses and it would be awesome not that you asked what I would do with the money but I'll probably do like good things too like I would definitely want to donate money um, I'm not exactly sure where I would definitely want to do like a lot of research into that and I would probably hook my family up like no one in my family would not have a nice car and a nice house like that's I think that's like the generic answer though like everybody says that if they had a lot of money um, do, 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 do. Okay, I'm going to scroll down because I really am missing, like, some of the earlier questions. Okay. Uh, LPS Lexi. Okay, I'm not going to read all that because you have a very long name, but LPS Lexi <laughs> wants to know, have you played the phone version, The Sims Free Play yet? I had it on my phone, but it wasn't the best. I think that the computer version is better, like The Sims 3, even though I haven't played it. Um... I tried one of them for the phone. I don't know which one. It might have been like Sims 3 Pets because I think they had that. And I was just not impressed. I was like, this is lame. Uh, I would much rather play this on the computer. So just because it's so much different. It's not that it was a bad game. It's just not what I was used to. So it took me a long time to go from the console to a computer. I was really like, this is weird. But now I'm like, oh, the computer's so much better. So... Uh, let's see. Uh, is that Isa? Is that how you say that? I'm really sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Uh, I usually make Sims, make them pregnant, make them have a baby, and make a new game. Seriously, I feel like that's kind of what happens. Like, you have kids, and then it's like, meh, I'm bored now. Uh, that's the cool thing about making videos, though, is that having you guys tell me, like, what to do and, like, vote on things, it makes things so much more interesting, and it's like, there's, like, never a dull moment. So... That makes things way more interesting. Uh, Simmer and Spice wants to know, do you have a Twitch? I do. I cannot use it. My computer just can't handle it. Um, when I get my PC eventually, <laughs> I do plan to use it, though, and do more live streaming and stuff, which I think will be so fun. Um, but I think my name is just Sims 3 Copper Fox. Like, I actually reserve the domain, so I did that on purpose, too. Like, I knew I probably wasn't going to be able to run it, but I was like, you know what? I better reserve the domain, because sometimes people do that. They'll, like, go under their favorite YouTuber's name or something, so uh, I did that. <clears throat> okay. How... What is this? How did you... Oh, I already answered this question. <clears throat> um, do you like Minecraft? I actually have an LP that was never finished on my channel that was called Vinyl Fantasy, where me and my husband played Minecraft. Um, for the time being, we don't really have any plans to go back to it, just because, number one, his computer's kind of out right now, and... I don't know. I know it's going to be a really, really long LP. And I also felt like it didn't have as much hype as all of my Sims ones. Like, that's kind of what I'm known for, and branching outside of that is really hard. So it's not something totally out of the question. Like, I want to do more Minecraft things. I just haven't gotten around to it. So, um, do, do, do. I'm looking for more questions. <laughs> this is a funny question. Uh, Cinnamon Toasty wants to know, what is your favorite cracker brand? Um, probably something by Pepperidge Farm. Uh, I really like their flip side crackers, the ones that are like half cracker, half pretzel. Those are really good. I would say that's probably my favorite cracker. Like, I really like those. <laughs> Uh, do you play any video games? If so, what game is your favorite? Um, 
Well, The Sims is a video game, and I play that, but I wouldn't actually say it's my favorite. I'm trying to think, like, if I... Probably, honest honest to God... <laughs> uh, sorry, my nose is itchy, blah. Um, probably my favorite, favorite video game of all time is Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo. <laughs> Love me some Mario. I'm obsessed. Like, every game system Nintendo that I've ever bought, I bought it to play Mario. Like, uh, my sister has a Wii U, and I borrowed it from her for, like, five days just so I could play the new Super Mario Brothers with my husband. And that's, like, all I want it for is to play Mario games. Mario, and I really, really, really liked Zelda Ocarina of time um, that came with the N64 and I also love Kingdom Hearts. Uh, I actually plan to do Kingdom Hearts 3 on my channel hopefully if I can get my hands on a video capture card before it comes out. Uh, no word on the release date for it yet and I don't have a PlayStation 4 yet anyways but I plan to do it on my channel when they do release it because it's Disney um, it's on the PlayStation, which I love. I'm definitely a PlayStation girl for sure. PlayStation and Nintendo. I'm not really too into the Xbox. Not because I think it's a bad system, because I don't. I just never really have played with one. Um, and Final Fantasy characters. How could you possibly go wrong? <clears throat> so that was a loaded answer. Sorry. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Uh-uh-uh-uh-uh. Um, let's see. Okay. LP's Lexi wants to know, watching you on my, and asking questions on my laptop multitasking. Oh, okay. And is your favorite animal a fox or is it another animal? Uh, my favorite animal actually, to be quite specific, is a white tiger. Uh, it's been my favorite since I was a kid. I've, I've always really liked cats, like all types of cats. And... Uh, me and my friend, actually, that I had my mimosa brunch with today, that's her favorite animal, too. So I think it was kind of like a mutual bonded thing. Like, we're both redheads, and I think that was, like, why we started talking in kindergarten. I've known her since kindergarten. And we both started talking because we both were like, hey, another ginger girl. Oh, my goodness. And we both discovered that we had, like, the same favorite animal. We loved all the same toys. Like, I did a lot with her in my childhood. We used to go to the San Diego Zoo together and just go to like the animal area that had lions and tigers and anyways I don't know why I'm rambling <laughs> uh, what expansion pack from The Sims 2 and 3 would you like to I'm guessing you meant see The Sims 4 Exa example Bon Voyage from The Sims 2 Showtime from The Sims 3 oh, okay mmm I would say Generations, but I kind of feel like that should just be included in the game. Like, I don't know why they would need to put an expansion on that. They should just include in the base game stuff like that. <laughs> but I think that's probably wishful thinking. Uh, probably Late Night. Late Night or Seasons I really liked. I wish my computer ran Seasons better because it's one of my favorites. I'm going to go with Late Night, though. I liked the idea of, like, clubs and vampires, and it was just a good expansion pack. Like, whenever somebody asks me, what should I buy? I'm buying the base game, and I want to get an expansion. What's the best one? I usually recommend either show or not Showtime, either Late Night, um, Seasons, or the one with all the mystical creatures, um... It comes with Moonlit Falls, too. Oh, my gosh, what's it called? Supernatural. Supernatural is a good one, too. But probably Late Night above all of them. Like, I was the most excited when Late Night came out. Also, because I was very obsessed with Twilight at one time in my life, and I was like, oh, my gosh, vampires. I can make the entire Colin family. I never did that, but, um, yeah, I was really excited when that happened. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like I kind of already answered that. Ha, hashtag no filter, cinnamon toasty. That's funny because what I said earlier. Um, have I ever played Sims 3 on Xbox? Isa wants to know. I have not. I'm sorry. I Not because I don't want to. I just don't have an Xbox. Um, let's see. Going to dye half of my hair blue. Do it. That would be really cool. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm 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 -mm. Any other Sims 3 custom content sites other than the Sims resources? If you want more, I can link some that I use. Um, 
Well, Anubis for, like, hair. Um, there are, like, so many. There's one where I get my Maleficent stuff. Let me... I'm going to tell you guys what it is. Hold on. Sims 3 Maleficent... Oh, come on. It's, like, something fantasy, I think. Hold on. I'm going to tell you. Is it this one? It might be this one. It's sillfantasy.blogspot.com. Sill, like S-I-L. Uh, they do a lot of, like, or she or he or they, I don't know who actually runs it, but they do a lot of care. Oh, sorry, the music is playing. My bad. I will get off this website in just a second. But they do things like uh, Maleficent costumes, and that's where I got my Queen of Hearts costume, or not Queen of Hearts, uh, Snow White, Evil Witch. Uh, there's Daenerys Targaryen costumes. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. I'm like kind of scrolling to see if there's anything. They have really good Indian stuff. Um, Frozen costumes and the Olaf costume. And, okay, I'm going to leave this website because I'm sorry it's playing music. Uh, but anyways, sillfantasy.blogspot.com, that's a really good one. I've actually gotten a lot of custom content from there. Um, let's see. Oh, bye, Laguna66. Thanks for coming. It was awesome. Do, 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 do. Uh... Sorry, I'm looking... Wait, wait, what? Sorry, I'm looking for questions. <laughs> um, do you like Divergent and think 4 is hot? 4? Did I miss something? Is that like a typo? Is 4 a thing? Do you just mean like the number? I don't know. But uh, Divergent, funny that you should ask because... Oh, come on. I have to have it over here. I'm going to be so... Hold on. I'm going to be so mad at myself if it's not here because I was going to show it to you. Um, also, yes, I'm totally wearing my pajamas in this video. I have Mario jammies on. I don't know where it is, but um, <clears throat> I have the Divergent book. My husband got it for me for my birthday. And for birthdays, we exchange books instead of cards and we write in the front cover. So like we have like a library collection that we're building because we both like to read. So I have read maybe the first like two chapters of the book and I have not seen the movie. So, so maybe four is like a person in the book that I don't know about. <laughs> so don't tell me. Don't spoil it for me because I am going to read it. <clears throat> Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Can you vote to answer my question? Um, I wish I knew where your question was so I could answer it for you. Answer me, I love you. I'm really sorry. I'm looking for your question. Oh, this one, how old are you? Uh, I'm 23. Uh, my birthday is May 14th, and I'm 23, so I just turned 23 this last May. Do, 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 do. do you, oh wait, no, okay, I already answered that one. Do, 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 do you, do I have a favorite book? I've actually answered this question before in another Google Hangout, but um, I will answer it again because I'm pretty sure I deleted that video. <laughs> My favorite book of all time, believe it or not, is from the young adult section. It is a fiction book, and it is called A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. I love Libba Bray. She is probably on my like top five list of people I would want to meet. Uh, my number one person, I'm going to tell you, even though you didn't ask, uh, my number one person that I would love to meet, like IRL, uh, is Toni Collette. She's an actress. She was in In Her Shoes and the United States of Terra, and she's just phenomenal. I would love to sit down and have coffee with her, even though I'd probably be really nervous. Hmm. Boo, my coffee is getting cold. <laughs> I need to start drinking it more. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's see. Do you like the Hunger Games movies or books better? I like the books better because they are better detailed. When I watch the first movie on Netflix, I scream my head off at the TV. Um, I have only seen the movies. I have the first book, but I've never read it. I'm a terrible, terrible person, I know. But you know what? A lot of times I actually like to see the movie first just because I 
feel like it makes me less angry at the movie. Like, if I see the movie first, I know what to expect from the book, and I can still go back and be like, hey, this book was way better than the movie. But it makes me not, like, mad, like, screaming at my TV mad at the movie because I didn't watch it after I read the book. So the only book I can actually say that I think the movie was better, and people might disagree with me on this, but I did not like The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, the book. I thought the movie was way better. Um, you don't say that too often, though, or you don't hear that too often. Usually the book is always better. Um, do, 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 do. Soul Caliber Simmer wants to know, she says, hi, or he or she, sorry, says, hi, it's like half, half 10 p.m. here in Ireland right now. Don't know if my last question was submitted, but if you could design a Sims expansion, what would you put in it? Um, hmm. Well, definitely some of the stuff I talked about that I hope is in The Sims 4, like uh, more wedding options, more like kid to parent actions. Probably if it was going to be an expansion, like I'm trying to think if there's anything that they haven't done that I think would be really cool. Well, because there really isn't much. Like they've done a lot. I, there's probably so many things I'm, like, not even thinking of, though. Like, they did a futuristic one. They did weather. They did they did a lot. I think it would have been kind of cool, even though it'd be more of a stuff pack, and they maybe... I think that they already did something like it, but it'd be cool to have an expansion pack that was set in the past instead. Like, I know that Into the Future, you can go back in time and whatever, but I think it would have been cool to have, like, specific time frames. Like, you could go to the 50s and see everybody with their really awesome cars and all, like, I don't know, like, black and white movies, and I think that would have been a really cool addition. Um... I don't know what you would call that, though. Like, I feel like Into the Future kind of already did that, in a way. Um, I also think it would have been more fun if they had added more and made Island P Paradise better. Like, it was cool that you got mermaids and stuff, but I think they could have done so much more with the underwater stuff. And even with mermaids, like, they could have just... I feel like they could have done that. Like, I want to be able to go underwater and freaking see Atlantica. I don't want to just go underwater for this tiny little square space that you can see. And I don't know. I think, I can't really think of anything that they didn't do. Maybe I'm selling myself short here, but yeah, I don't know. Okay. So I guess that kind of answers your question, I hope. Um... Do, do, oh, sorry, my phone went bzzit. Do you like My Little Pony? Yes, Rebecca, I do. Um, I don't actually really watch the new one as much, but as a kid in my generation, um, for all I know, we could be in the same generation. I don't know. But my generation growing up, we did have My Little Ponies, and my favorite pony, they do not have in the new series, at least if they do, I have not seen her. She was my favorite. Her name was Shady. She was a hot pink horse with yellow hair, and her cutie mark was, like, Ray-Ban sunglasses. <sighs> she was the best. And I used to have, like, a little figurine of her, and I just, I just loved her. She was so awesome. But the new My Little Pony is my favorite out of, like, the five or six that are the main ponies. I think my favorite is probably um, Shutterfly. <laughs> that's the one that's, like, really shy. Uh, I really like her, and she has, like, the cutest voice. Her and uh, what's that other one? Rainbow Dash. I like Rainbow Dash, too. How could you not like Rainbow Dash? She has rainbow hair. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Okay, if you could travel back in time, any moment in your life to fix or just to see that moment or anything like that, what would it be? I can't think of anything that I would want to fix because I really, like, I really try to look at life as having no regrets. Like, something, even if something really, really bad happened, like, I've had things that have been really terrible, and to me, they just teach you so many lessons that I'm like, why would I want to change that? It shaped who I am. So I can't say that there's anything I would want to change, but if I could go back... Okay, this is a really good one. 
totally tender. I'm going to like blow up the romantic here for a minute. Uh, when me and my husband were first dating, he took me, this was like probably less than six months into our relationship, like first couple months. He took me, he blindfolded me. This was ser to date probably one of the nicest, cutest, sweetest things someone has ever done for me. Um, he blindfolded me and he drove me to his old elementary school and he brought a big case of Jones soda with him and cinnamon graham crackers because apparently that's what he had. <laughs> And we just sat in his like old elementary school park and drank Joe and soda and ate cinnamon toast graham crackers. And it was awesome because he is so corny and I love him to death. But he was like, I just th I just thought like if I could incorporate you into my past memories and then like also intertwine you into my future, like that will just be like I don't even know what his whole explanation was, but it was something about him wanting to include me in like his past as well as his future. It was really cute. And still to date one of the nicest things anyone's ever done for me. I've just it was so thoughtful and something that he totally came up with on his own and took me by surprise. And if I could go back to that day, that would be really cool. Uh, I mean, obviously, I could recreate that now if I wanted to, but it would never be the same. Like, the relationship was new, and we didn't really know each other very well, and we just talked for hours laying out on, like, a blanket in the middle of the park, and it was just, or the playground, like, grass area, and it was just awesome. It was really awesome. I would totally go back and do that day again. That or... Um... One more. I told you I'm going to blow up your romantic here. Um, probably on my honeymoon, we went on a cruise to Mexico and Catalina. And on the day that we were in Mexico, the ship was docked all day. Like, it got there early in the morning, and we didn't leave until, like, 11 p.m. or something. And up on the top of the ship they had a miniature golf course which I know that sounds really weird because if the boat is moving you're not gonna be able to play miniature golf you're just not but while it was docked we could play and everybody was like not on the ship they were all down in Mexico and it was so dead <laughs> and we just hung out up there and we played mini golf and it was probably my favorite moment on our honeymoon like it just it felt like it was the first time besides being in our room that we were really alone and it was just nice like we didn't have cell phone service so we couldn't talk to anybody and it just it felt like a date but like on steroids <laughs> it was like better than a date because we were so disconnected from the outside world while being on a date and it was awesome that makes me really happy, like, just talking about it. I would love to do that again. Okay, I think that's enough. I could probably do, like, five more memories, but those are those are probably, like, my top two. Um, okay. Do you like Littlest Pet Shops, LPS, which is, which is what the beginning of my YouTube stands for? It isn't so long because I co-own it with my friend. I know what Littlest Pet Shop is, like the figurines, I think, but I don't, like, if it's a show, I've never seen it. So I don't really know much about it, so sorry. Oh, this person, uh, Sophie says, Atlantica, do you mean Atlantis? No, actually, I meant Atlantica. Atlantica, you know, like, uh, it's where Ariel and King Triton live, Atlantica. But uh, Atlantis, I think, is from Treasure Planet? No. What am I saying? That was a stupid answer. No. Atl I'm so dumb. Atlantis is from the movie Atlantis. Duh. Um, sorry. I get those two movies mixed up all the time. But uh, Atlantis would have also been really cool, actually. <laughs> from Treasure Planet. What is wrong with me? <laughs> have you ever had braces, Sophie wants to know? Yes. Oh, my gosh, yes. I wore braces for, like almost three years and sadly my top teeth are still really straight but I never wore my retainer and my bottom teeth are all crooked <laughs> so wear your retainers people wear those retainers it is very important and I wish that I had <clears throat> but yes I have had braces I had some really jacked up teeth I actually have a picture that I just recently posted on my Instagram I'll see if I can pull it up for you, like, on camera, if it will let me show you on Instagram. Come on, show me, dang it. Oh, whoop. 
Let's see. It was really, really, really recent, and it was a picture of me and my sister. Yeah, okay. I think I actually have the photo here, too. You can't really see my teeth in this picture because I'm showing you on my phone, and it's probably blurry. My teeth are jacked up in this picture. Like, it was pre-braces, and it's just not cute. <laughs> teeth are kind of a big deal to me, so it was like... At the time, I did not want braces, but I'm really glad I got them now that it's over. Simmer and Spice wants to know, do you like cream in your coffee? Yes. Well, half and half, I guess. Does that count? Um, I really, I drink my coffee with half and half and sugar. Two tablespoons of half and half, two teaspoons of sugar. And I do actually measure it, like with the tablespoon and teaspoon. Otherwise, it just tastes funny to me. So I am quite picky about how I like my coffee. And I can't do it with milk. I've tried. It has to be half and half. Um, let's see. Once you have The Sims 4, do you think you'll play The Sims 3? Yes. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to keep any of the LPs that I'm running. I don't know. Like, it really depends. If The Sims 4 comes out and it's like a totally crappy game, I will probably go right back to The Sims 3. But if it's awesome, I'll probably do more things in The Sims 4. But, oh, sorry. I feel like my makeup is, like, running. Um, <clears throat> I will probably do both. I would say it just really depends on what The Sims 4 is like. I'm not totally giving up on The Sims 3, though. Uh, Rebecca wants to know, do you watch anime? Not anymore, uh, mostly because I just don't have time. But when I did watch anime, I was very into Inuyasha. That was probably, like, my favorite show. I used to watch it every day. Uh, Inuyasha, I really liked Peach Girl. That was a good one. Witch Hunter Robin... Uh, what is that one called? It's a weird one, and it's on Netflix. Oh, my gosh. I need to ask my husband. This is going to make me crazy. Let's see if he'll answer the phone. He's in the next room, but I don't want to get up. So, oh. No, I remember. I don't have to call him. It's Fooly Cooly. That one is on Netflix. It's really weird, though, but it's cool. Fooly Cooly, and I did watch some Pokemon. If that's an anime. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh... I feel like there's more. Like, I watched other stuff, too, but I can't place anything. Oh, Sailor Moon. Some Sailor Moon. Um, I'm really excited, actually, for the new Sailor Moon. I want to watch it really bad. I would say that's probably about it, though. I was huge into Inuyasha, though. Huge. So that was probably, like, my number one. Uh, what is the best country you have been in? Well, I've only been to Canada, Mexico, and the United States. So... Uh, probably if I had to choose, I'm going to go with the United States, but not necessarily because I think it's the best, just because I've seen more. I have an opinion. <laughs> greatest, grossest, sorry, I thought it said greatest thing. Grossest thing you have ever ate or eaten, I would assume. Um... Squid? Ugh, no, I totally have one. It is squid. But uh, one of my teachers in high school went on a vacation to Japan, and she brought back squid jerky. It was so salty and so disgusting. I was like, who eats this stuff? And we got extra credit if we tried it, so I tried it, and it was disgusting. <laughs> that, and I like sushi, but I've had, like, the squid sushi. Like, not... Not just, like, a piece of squid, but they, like, put it over rice, like a... I don't even know what you call that. I guess it's just sushi. It's not sashimi. It's sushi. But <clears throat> um, I had that, and that was pretty disgusting. I would never order it again at this point. I mean, I do try things occasionally that I don't like just to see if my taste buds have changed because, surprise, surprise, sometimes I'm like, ooh, this is really good. Like, I used to really hate rosemary, and now I love it. It's a, the herb, rosemary. Um, I hate Swiss cheese. I think that's disgusting. I try it every so often, and I still hate it, but I love every other kind of cheese. So just Swiss. Ugh. No, don't like. Smells like feet and tastes like feet, in my opinion. Um, let's see. Did you ever watch Soul Eater? Uh, unfortunately, no. I've never even heard of that, actually. But maybe I will check it out. Um, do you have any pets in real life? I did, 
but we actually had to give them to new families because we moved. Me and my husband live with my parents right now. I know, lame. But we live with my parents currently until my husband can get another job in California instead of Utah, which is where we were. And where was I going with this story? Oh, we had to give up our pets because my parents both don't like animals. Well, my dad likes animals, but my mom doesn't like animals and refused to let them come into her house. And I didn't want to make them outdoor cats. I had two cats. And I thought it was better if we just gave them to other families instead of having to force them to be outdoor. So, especially because they were used to being indoor cats their whole lives, and we had them since they were babies. It was really, 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 really hard, and it still makes me sad when I think about them because I miss them. But I ultimately know that we gave them to good homes. And when we move out of this house, we do plan to get another cat. So... Um, we're actually planning to get a Bengal because they're hypoallergenic, and as it turns out, my husband is a little bit allergic to cats, so uh, we plan to get a Bengal so we won't have to worry about that. So we will have a new cat eventually, <laughs> but probably not until like the first of the year. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, this question is so cute, and I'm totally going to share it with you because we actually have this picked out. Uh... I don't even want to try to say your name because I really think I'm going to botch it and I'm really sorry. Uh, but the question is up there. Um, what would you want to name your child if you had one? Uh, if it's a girl, we have had the name picked out for a really long time. Uh, we would want to name a girl Anya, uh, so A-N-Y-A. And if it's a boy, we're really on the fence. I say it like we're having kids right now, but if we have a son, uh, we would, we're really on the fence with boy names. We just have a hard time agreeing. Um, my husband really likes the name Armand, but to me, like, it's a good name, and it reminds me of Interview with the Vampire because Antonio Banderas plays Armand, and then in the books, Armand, you know? So that's, like, the reason I kind of like it, but... Still, it's it's like too long for me. It's a good name, but it's really long. Uh, the only name that we kind of agree on is Lucas for a boy. We both really like that name, and we already have the middle name totally picked out for a boy. Uh, we would it would be Edward because that's my father's name, and that's a uh, a middle. It's my husband's middle name. It's his dad's middle name. It's his dad's dad's middle name, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So huge family name. So we have a middle name picked out for that one. And I didn't even say this. Not that you asked, but. Um, for a girl, the name Anya, uh, we really like the middle name Suzanne because it honors, again, we're really big on honoring family members. Uh, my mom's middle name is Sue, and uh, Andrew, my husband Andrew's, <sighs> sorry, he has a big family. Um, his grandmother on his dad's side, her name, I believe, is Suzanne. So, or Susanna or Suzanne, so Anya, Suzanne. So we're all about that, <clears throat> but that was a really good question. I've actually never been asked that before, so thank you. I like getting new and interesting questions. Um, <laughs> Sorry, a car drove by. <laughs> I thought it was maybe my dad coming home. Not that it matters, but I was just beat nosy, I guess. Um, I'm trying to look for more questions because there's some of them are like responses to what I've said. So I'm trying to like weed through them and get questions for you guys. Ah, this is a good one. Candy Pettis, I think I said that right, hopefully, uh, wants to know what is your favorite brand of coffee? Um, probably, I believe it's called 8 o'clock and it's, they make K cups and bags of coffee. It's just like a cheaper, brand that makes cheap K-Cups, and I really like the hazelnut flavor. I also really like a Green Mountain Coffee Company. They make good... I use K-Cups, so it's, like, I feel like it's hard sometimes to pick, like, a coffee brand because there's so many different... I don't know. I know it's... I'm not even making any sense, but <clears throat> I feel like my... Horizons got less broadened with coffee when I started drinking K-Cups because less companies make all of their flavors in K-Cups. So that's what I was trying to say. Um, <clears throat> I So yeah, probably 5 o'clock or Green Mountain Coffee Company. Um, I don't really enjoy Starbucks coffee that much. 
<clears throat> like if I go there to get a drink, I feel like they load it with way too much sugar. And if I make it at home, I really like flavored coffees. So if I drink like a flavored one from them, sure. But I don't like just like the plain like blonde. Blonde Rose is probably the one I could drink the most. But like just the plain Colombian or the plain extra dark. Or I'm not a huge fan of just plain coffees. I like the flavored ones. I I can drink it all, but preference definitely flavored. <clears throat> so let's see more questions. Got any good advice for making a Sims Hunger Games? Um, advice? I don't necessarily think I have any advice. I mean, just think of something that makes you happy that you would have fun with. Like, that's, that's I guess, is advice. Like, when I wanted to do my Hunger Games series, originally I was going to do it just like K-pop. I was going to, like, pick different contestants from a whole mashup of places. And then I realized that I actually thought it would be cool to see who would win if I pitted all the princesses against each other or all the villains or, you know, I thought it would be really interesting to see who would win at a fight to the death on that. So that's kind of where I got that idea. So I would just say, like, pick, like, either a mashup of things or something that you actually really want to see who would win because then it makes it fun for you too. It's not just like you're making the videos or playing the challenge just because you want someone else to see it. So I think that's probably something really important in general if you're thinking about making a challenge video for The Sims is just making sure it's something that you personally would enjoy. Oh my gosh, why is my nose so itchy right now? I do not have allergies. <sighs> oh, sorry, I moved the computer. Um, one second. I found the... Na, 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 na. Sorry, I'm checking. I had a couple of... Uh, a couple messages on my Facebook, on Copper Sensory Copper Fox's Facebook page. So I was checking them. Um, let's see. Hmm. Okay, sorry. I know that's boring watching me, like, check Facebook messages. Um... Turn ons and turn turn offs doesn't have to be romantically. Hmm. Okay, so if it's not romantic and I just like am trying to jive with someone, like talk to them, I'm trying to think. Probably someone who's really opinionated, like somebody who is overtly opinionated, like wants to shove their opinion down your throat and thinks that they are just so right and everything they say, like you need to listen to it. I can't stand people like that. Um, that is a huge turn off. I feel like they don't, not that they're bad people, I just feel like they are very close minded. Like it's the way that they see things is the way that everybody should see things and if you don't then you're a jerk. So I definitely have a hard time with really opinionated people, especially when it comes to like politics or religion or stuff like that. Stuff that I like never talk about because I feel like it's a really hard subject to find equal ground on. Like I'm a very carefree, loving person. I think if whatever you do, like spread, I sound like such a hippie, but just like spread love to other people and be a good person. And if, if whatever religion you're into makes you a good person, then cool. It's the right one for you. Like I just can't stand people that are so set in their ways that they can't even fathom how somebody else wouldn't be happy doing what they're doing. Does that make sense? I don't know. That might be too much. I might be sharing too much information right now. Um, so that and there was something else and I just had it and I feel like I lost it. Really opinionated people I have a hard time with because I just want to have a good time. Like I just want to be happy and I don't know. I don't like causing contention and I feel like opinionated people cause a lot of contention. Um... <clears throat> really loud people are a huge turn off to me because I don't consider it like if you know me really well and really personally I probably can be a loud crazy person but if you don't know me very well like just just don't be loud and in my face because I'm not going to appreciate it it's going to make me instantly not like you feel very closed off from you and just it makes me uncomfortable that's what it is also this is a huge one um, it's mostly like 
people's certain types of personalities that are big turn-ons and turn-offs. I will get to the turn-ons, but um, I also have a really hard time, but I'm on the fence with this because I think everybody does it, and even myself I'm guilty of, so it's a hard thing to process, but it's hard for me to trust people and like think that they're okay to talk to when I hear them say bad things about other people. Like if they gossip about somebody else, I instantly think, ooh, maybe I can't trust you because what do you say about me behind my back? That is a huge turn off when somebody just wants to sit there and dish on someone else to you. Granted, I think sometimes there's a line there that can be crossed if it's like possibly if it's about you or it involves you or maybe the person they're talking about did something that really offended them. That's a little bit different, but if they're just saying cruel things about someone just to say them, that to me is really hurtful and people shouldn't do it. Um, and I feel like there is one more thing. Oh. Last thing, people that don't listen. Like, don't get me wrong, I think we can all be guilty sometimes of not listening to somebody when we're just in our own little world, but it really is a huge, like, I instantly know that we cannot be friends and I cannot trust you if I, like, ex talk about something that's really sensitive to me and you just ignore me. Like, I say you like it's you guys. You guys don't do that. Um... <clears throat> But, like, even with the PCOS thing, like, I've tried to talk about it with certain people, and they just have completely ignored me. And it's, to me, it's a sensitive topic, and instantly I'm like, okay, I realize now what I can and can't share with you. And it's just, an, it, it instantly puts walls up, and it's a big turnoff. So I would say that, that like, people that just don't listen is not good. <laughs> Um, okay, turn ons. What do I like about other people? Gosh, sorry, I'm sitting here bagging on everybody. What do I like about other people? Um, I love people that are really open-minded. Um, even if they have a totally different opinion and viewpoint than I have, as long as they're willing to also listen to mine and be non-judgmental, I love it. I love really good conversation. Um, I really like people that, especially when it comes to talking about kids, uh, people that are very open-minded about raising children a certain way. Like, I, I personally am not a parent, but I still enjoy the topic of parenting, even though I haven't done it yet. Uh, so I understand that my perception is probably really skewed. But I still enjoy talking about different methods and even hearing from parents, like what works and what doesn't work, especially because that will be the next big step in my life is to become a parent. So I really like that's a huge turn on is when people want to talk about stuff like that and very openly, even if they're talking about something that they messed up on or, you know, I think that's really cool. I think it's a huge turn on when people can laugh at themselves when they've done something really dumb. Um, I also think being apologetic is really awesome. Um, meaning not like so apologetic that you're apologizing for every single small teeny tiny thing that you did, but I think it's important and really awesome when somebody can admit to being wrong. Like, even if it's not necessary, it's good to still be like, you know what, you're right, I'm sorry. So that's really cool. Um, also to see this, I think this is my last one. Again, I think we're all talking about personalities here. Uh, last one, it's really cool I think when I see people even in the community that like even not I'm hoping not you guys <laughs> in some ways oh, well technically I guess I am hoping you guys but uh, even people in the community when people try to spread hate with hate I love people that turn around and they're like you know what I'm really sorry you're having a bad day I'm really sorry you feel like you need to say these things to me if you need somebody I'm here for you and I think that's a really big deal because especially on the internet there's a lot of people that are not very nice and say really mean things, really hurtful things, even to each other. And I always try to be that way in the comment section. Sometimes I get a little bit angry and I'll be like, you know what? <laughs> I will never just unload on someone because I think that's wrong. You don't know their life to be able to talk to someone like that. But um, I do try to always reach out and say, I'm really sorry you feel this way, or I'm really sorry you feel the need to say what you said to me. If you want to talk about it, I'm here. You can email me at blah, blah, blah. So I think that that's really awesome when I see you guys spread love instead of hate, even if somebody said something totally off the wall and really mean. So, okay, turn ons and turn off was really long-loaded question. Um, got any advice for starting a for a start, starting as a simmer on YouTube. 
oh my gosh, I could write a book on this. <laughs> I feel like there are so many little things that just add up. And I think a huge thing is to understand that YouTube is a huge random game. Like, somewhat, sometimes people get really big overnight, and sometimes people take a long time to grow. Um, I didn't really see any major audience following until like eight months into making videos. That's when my channel took a huge skyrocket, took off, and I gained like a lot of subscribers and a lot of community base around my channel. Um, it took months, months and months and months and months. And I think that that is really important to kind of just not give up. Even if you feel like, oh, it's not going anywhere. Maybe my content's not good enough. What am I doing wrong? It's really important to still persevere <laughs> and do what you can. And I'm actually not very good at this one myself, but I'm working on it. <laughs> That's why I'm doing the YouTube or the, excuse me. That's why I'm doing the Google Hangout today because the video I had prepared for today was like all messed up. But, um... It's really important to have a relationship with your audience where they can expect videos from you on a certain day. Like, even if it's X amount of times per week, make sure that you're meeting those commitments. You want to have a trust with your audience. Like, I want you guys to be able to trust me, and I want to trust you. Like, I want to trust that you're going to vote in the poll and give me good tips on what I should do in the next video, and I'm going to take that into account and do what you guys really think. And Kind of on the same note, I want to give you guys content and do, like I said, what you guys think would be the best for the channel. So I think it's really important to have that relationship. And um, another huge thing, kind of along the lines of the whole turn offs thing, is just don't spread hate. Don't get mad at somebody, one person who tells you your video is crap. One person comes on comments, says this video is horrible, I just wasted 10 minutes of my life. People do that to me every day. And just don't let those people bog you down. It's not worth it. I just got a text from my mother-in-law. She's so great. Um, I'm so frustrated. Oh, no. Sorry. <clears throat> I had multiple texts. Also one from my friend. Hmm. Apparently my friend's having a bad day. Let me see what my mother-in-law said. I will get back to her. But um, anyways... Sorry, I probably should stop like trying to get on text live. <laughs> it's not a good idea. But um, just because I'll start like getting into that and not talking to you guys. Those are probably like really good tips for starting out is just to continue doing what you're doing. Don't let anybody drag you down, even though it's really, really, really hard, especially when you're starting out and you're only getting like between three to five comments on each video and half of them are bad comments. It's really hard to it's really easy to let yourself get dragged down by that. Um it's also really important that you release quality content. Like, it's definitely quality over quantity. Like, if you can only release one video a week, but it's going to be the best video you've done, do it. Um, just do it once a week, you know? And same with, like, thumbnails. Thumbnails attract a lot of audience, and I actually notice this a lot in the community, and I have an entire video dedicated to how to make a good quality thumbnail using free programs <laughs> that you guys can all get access to if you want to do it. But I actually see that a lot in the community, not, like, necessarily... I think some of the more popular people kind of have a pretty good grip on it, and probably all the people that I associate myself with, I can't think of anybody that doesn't, but... Um, Every so often I do stumble across other channels where their thumbnails are just like pre-made by YouTube. And I don't think those are really the best thumbnails to use. You should definitely always design your own. Make something captivating that your audience is going to want to click on. That's really, 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 really important. And also branding. Branding is a big deal. Uh, you want to make sure that your thumbnail has the Sims 3 like logo or something that's going to make it identifiable that, hey, this is Sims 3 content, you know? So that's something. <clears throat> um, I'm, I swear I could go on for like a half hour about advice, but that's probably like some good like starting advice that I've got for you. So I'm going to stop there before I keep going. Um... If you could describe your husband in one word, what would it be? Oh my goodness, smart. He is so smart. Like, ridiculous smart. Um, he is like a walking Wikipedia. I could ask him anything. And 99.99999% nine, of the time, he knows the answer. And if he doesn't, he will go find the answer and then tell me. Like, it's 
it's he is so so smart it's almost stupid <laughs> especially because I don't really consider myself on the same intelligence level as him sometimes and it can be frustrating because he'll say things and say like certain words and I'm like what did you just say it's like you just spoke like French to me what did you just say I don't even know what that word means so I mean I'm not dumb but sometimes he is a little bit above me on the intelligence scale and I would definitely say that is a really good describing word. He is very smart. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh man, Simmer and Spice wants to know, would you say you have a big family or a small one? I have a gigantic family. Uh, let me talk about this for just a couple minutes. So. Before we even get into the in-law side of the family, um, my immediate family, I'm the youngest of seven kids. And yes, they are all from the same parents. Um, it's not like a mashup of like step and stuff, which that's not bad. I know every family is different, but I think that that's really, when people, when I tell people I have six other siblings, they're like, oh my gosh, like, is that like step? Like people always ask, is that step siblings? Is that like different marriages? And I'm like, no all one family, like all like, I don't mean it like that. Don't take my words literally. It's not like you're not one family if you have step siblings or um, adopted or whatever your situation may be, but all from like the same parents. Um, there are seven of us. I'm the youngest of seven. My brother that is the oldest in our family is 42 and I'm 23. There's 19 years between us. So yeah, my oldest brother, number one, I'm number seven, there's 19 years between us. My mom had kids for 19 years, like had babies for 19 years, so. Uh, we all have pretty good spaces between us though. Uh, the sister that's closest to me, her name's Kelsey, she is four years older than me. The sister above her is four years older than her. Um, then I have a brother, I have two brothers and four sisters. So there's five girls in total, including myself and two boys. And we all start with a K. I'm gonna give you all their names, are you ready for this? <laughs> I'll start from the oldest to the youngest. So Kenny, Carrie, Cammy, Christopher, Christopher, <laughs> he goes by Chris though, Carly, Kelsey, Chloe. So uh, yeah, we are one big crazy K family and uh, like seven isn't really that bad if you just include my parents that's nine but I'm the youngest everybody else has a significant other or like is married or has a boyfriend or girlfriend or a fiance and then some of them have kids um, I think in total excuse me there are eight grandchildren for my parents so um, like just in my like immediate circle there's 14 15 16 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Just in like the immediate circle, there's like 22 people, which to me, that's like my siblings, their significant others, plus the kids. So 22, like imagine that at Thanksgiving, 22 people every single year, without a doubt. So yeah, we, I have a very big family. Then you get into my in-laws and that's like, they're even bigger. Like, don't get me wrong, my husband is an only child from his parents. He does have step-siblings and a half-brother and a half-sister, but um, with his family, it's not that his immediate family is so big, it's that all of his like aunts and uncles and cousins all live right here too. And so their cousins are like, practically like what I consider my brother and sisters to be with me. So like like if we were going to have a party, let, let me give you this example. If we were going to have a party, if we didn't live here, we had our own house, we were going to have a party, I would have to invite 22 people, which is my family, then we would have to invite Andrew's dad and his mom and his stepmom and his stepdad and all of those kids, which is like one, two, three, four, five, I think like five extra, five or six extra kids. And then we would have to invite his aunt and her husband and their four kids. And then um, <laughs> this, I could sit here and do this all day. There's like four or five grandparents that we'd have, sets of grandparents that we'd have to invite. Well, technically more grandmothers than grandfathers, but there are so many people. Like his family, I'm sure, even bigger than mine. And... Like, our wedding was, like, 200 people, 
that came. Like, our wedding was really big. And that wasn't even everybody that I could think of. That was just, like, the closer people. So, and that was friends included, too. So maybe it wasn't that bad. But, yeah, 200 people. Okay, longest question ever. Yes, I have a big family. Um, Summer Sims wants to know, do you plan to have kids? Um... This is a big question. Yes, we plan to have them. Um, the thing is, I don't know if you watched the update video that I did, is I have a condition that is going to make having kids really hard. because not bec I'm like, what do I say? <laughs> I actually have a blog post about it, too, that I did to raise awareness about the condition. Um, so it might take us a while to have children, but it's never been out of the question. We know that we've we want, well, I shouldn't say children, because both of us keep saying we just want one and not anymore, but you really don't know that until you have kids and see what it's all about. Like, maybe if I have one and it's not that bad, maybe I'll want more, you know? So, um, we do definitely plan to have children, or a child, or whatever it may be, <laughs> but, um, so yeah, I guess that answers the question, yeah. So yes, we do want children. <laughs> uh... Haya Baya wants to know, can slash will you ever do a Sims 100 baby challenge or maybe 50 baby challenge or something? Probably not. Um, not because I don't think it's a great challenge, because it really is, and I've seen so many really awesome people do it. It's just so overdone. Like, so many people have a 100 baby challenge, and... I wouldn't say overdone, like the people that I watch that do it, I think it's very entertaining, but it's something that... When I pick LPs or challenges, I like to do some different stuff. I don't like to do stuff that everybody has done. Um, I tend to try to find ones that no one has done. And, like, even with my Seasons LP that I'm currently running, that one I made up. Like, I try to do things that people haven't done. So, probably not. I'm going to go with probably not. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see. I should do a hunger games of my family to see who wins. What do you think of that idea? Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. I wish you guys knew my family so I could do one of mine. Why did I not think of that? That is amazing. That is such a good idea. Maybe I'll play that in like private or something or like play it side by side with family members. That would be so funny. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's a really great idea. That's hilarious. I can't believe I've never thought of that. Just considering that I have, like, there's seven kids in my family, and I guess we could include, like, a parent or something, or both parents, or I don't know what we would do, but that's awesome. Did not think of that. Okay, um, what's your favorite expansion pack? Chris Jin asked, uh... I answered this one a little bit earlier, kind of. I would have to say it's either late night, probably late night, actually. I'm just going to say that. It's late night. Late night, uh, I also really liked Supernatural and Seasons, but if I had to pick just one, probably late night. Um, when The Sims 4 comes out, are you going to... No, I'm not going to change my name to Sims 4 Copper Fox. Not. I'm going to be Sims 3 Copper Fox still. Hopefully that doesn't confuse anybody that comes new to my channel, but... Um, I've thought about dropping the number altogether and just being Sims Copper Fox, but we'll see how it goes. Um, do, 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 do. <laughs> Sorry, I'm scrolling down to see what other questions we got. Uh, the person whose name I can't pronounce and I'm really scared to, uh, but I'm sure it's a really awesome name. I wish I just knew how to say it. But uh, asked, do you play an instrument? I used to play piano when I was younger, and I don't really play anymore. I wish I could say that I did, though. Uh, Isa Blanco wants to know, if you were a sim, what traits would you probably be? I'm gonna, I think you mean probably have. Um, I would definitely have Hopeless Romantic, because I've been a Hopeless Romantic since, like, birth, I swear. Um, I honestly think that's probably what drew me to my husband, is he's also a very romantic soul. <laughs> uh, so Hopeless Romantic, what do you get? Like, five traits, I think? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Hopeless Romantic. I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, I always say that, too. Loves the cold. I would definitely be Loves the cold. 
Um, loves the cold. Is there a loves to swim? I feel like that's one of them. And if that isn't a trait, it really should be because that's a good one. Um, cat lover and computer whiz. And if I could have a sixth trait, I feel like I just had it and I lost it. It was like, oh, probably like bookworm or something or, um, yeah, that, that's, that sounds about right. I would say that sounds like me. <laughs> uh, Sophie S. Anderson wants to know, have you ever felt very insecure? Um... I love questions like these. I really do because you guys have to like bring me out of my comfort zone to talk about it. And I think that's really cool. So, oh, have I ever like, sorry, before I answer the question, I see that there are new people that have joined us. Uh, don't be afraid to ask questions even if you feel like they're really personal. If it's too personal, I just won't answer it. But, I mean, don't be afraid to ask like whatever you want. Uh, have you ever felt very insecure? Yes. And it's actually a really funny story. Um, probably the most insecure I ever felt in my entire life. Um, I had been texting this boy that I really, really liked. And he was actually, I was a freshman in high school. He had just graduated the year before. He was a seat, no, I was a sophomore. He had been a senior the year before and I met him there. In school, his father is a friend of my family and I had been texting this boy and I really liked him like a lot a lot a lot a lot I really liked him I thought he was really cute he seemed like he flirted with me a lot and he was away in another state doing college so I would just text him and I was always really insecure anyways especially when it came to the opposite sex as a as a teenager like I felt like boys just didn't like me and I could never figure out why because I was a very helpless romantic person I would bend over backwards for someone um, like the epitome of a nice girlfriend right here girlfriend material um, when I look back on like my past relationships too I'm like dang I was a good girlfriend um, I really do think that <laughs> but anyways moving on the story so I really like this guy I text him a lot turns out he texted me to get my friend's number and then he told my really close friend that he actually really liked her I had never felt so low in my life because he played me, played me, said he liked my friend, and then tried to come back and act like the nice guy and be like, oh, I'm really sorry, like, I don't want you guys to not be friends over this, blah, 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 and it, like, never in my life had I felt more insecure, ever, and I felt so insecure, <laughs> I can't believe I'm even admitting this on live, live I want to say television, but it's not television, on live internet. But I felt so low, in fact, that I picked up my crappy flip phone, and every guy that I considered to be like a good friend, I and I didn't mean anything by it. Every guy that I texted, I think there were like four of them, thought that I was asking them out, but I wasn't. <laughs> and I will stand by that till the day I die. I was not asking them out. I just asked, would you ever consider dating me? And I would not necessarily recommend you go out and do this because it was a very weak moment and it seemed really attention seeking at the time and it just I was just feeling low and I wanted somebody to build me up basically which I now know that only I can do that for myself but anyway sent these text messages out one of them was my husband <laughs> that I was not dating at the time and every one of them responded, three of the four, not my husband, the other three, responded with, I have a girlfriend, or you're pretty cool, but I'm not looking for a relationship, or whatever, whatever they had to say. So to me, those are just crappy cop-out answers. And my now husband was the only one that texted back and said, yeah, but I don't really think we're very compatible. And I knew he would say that, because we're not. Like, if I looked at us then, we were very different people. And I said, I knew you would say that. And then he asked me, do you want to go out? And then that was kind of how that whole relationship started, was over text messaging when I was feeling really insecure. And, yeah, probably most insecure moment of my life, though. And it actually ended up being okay, because I got together with my now husband. But, um... Yeah, I could honestly say I probably didn't feel any more insecure than I did in that moment. <clears throat> so, kind of a long story. Uh, Simmer and Spice wants to know, have you ever had a bad haircut? If so, can you describe it? 
I one time I should actually Instagram this picture for you. I'm going to. So if you're on Instagram, you need to go follow me because I'm gonna Instagram it live, like right now. Um, the one time in my life, it was not necessarily a bad haircut, it was a bad bang cut. And my sister is a hairdresser. She's the one who does my hair even now. It looks like garbage right now, but I promise when it's all done up, it looks really nice. Um, I'm gonna find this picture and Instagram it, no joke. But um she, because she's my sister, she can do things like this and get away with it, but I made her mad. Like, I said something that wasn't nice when I was sitting in the chair and she was cutting my hair, so she purposely cut my bangs off. They were really short and really ugly, and I was pretty mad at her for a while, but other than that, I've never really had a bad, uh haircut. Okay, let me go ahead. I'm going to save this picture to my camera roll. I had to pull it from Facebook. I'm going to Instagram it right now so you guys can see it. So, and I will hashtag it Copper Fox Livestream. So you can look at the hashtag Copper Fox Livestream. Or no, Copper Fox Hangout. And then you guys will be able to see it. So, let's see next. Let me see if I can make the picture any brighter. It's a really old picture taken on a crappy camera. I'll do it in black and white for you. Okay. Uh, the one bad haircut, really bang cut, I ever had. Hashtag Sims, no, no, hashtag Copper Fox, you know what, okay, sorry, we're going to do hashtag Copper Fox Live. So that is what, and if you guys want, and you're watching me in your homes, and you have Instagram, do hashtag Copper Fox Live. So Copper Fox Live, and I will look at your guys' pictures later. So the one bad haircut, really bang cut I ever had, Copper Fox Live. Okay, so you guys can go see that if you want to. The bangs were super, super, super short, like seriously, like, and it was not very, it was not a good look. <laughs> Okay, do you like chocolate with nuts or fruit? Oh, sorry, let me put the question up there. Uh, I absolutely hate nuts and fruit and chocolate. Random question, I know. Uh, I like nuts and chocolate. Fruit, no, not so much. Not a fruity lover. Not a fruity lover. <laughs> Is that a bunny? Um, <clears throat> my mom is making brownies, and it smells really good. Ah, oh, I want some brownie share. Hmm. My coffee is, like, completely cold now, but I'm going to drink it anyway because I love coffee. This is my favorite mug, by the way. I don't know if you guys knew that. My bestie got it for me before I moved away. She gave it to me. So it's really special to me, too. It's really big. It has a really nice handle. Um, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? Charlotte Sims wants to know. If I could go anywhere in the world, I really, really, really want to go to either Italy or Greece. Um, I've never been there. I would love to just go on a Mediterranean cruise and see all of it because I've never been to that part of the world. <laughs> and I just think it would be really cool. Italy because I want to eat all the food. Sorry if my camera keeps shaking. This desk is really wobbly and I realize I probably shouldn't have filmed here, but oh well. Um, what's your favorite? Okay, let's see. <clears throat> LP, uh, LPS Lexi wants to know what was your favorite subject in school mine is writing and reading and language and that other stuff on our yearly assessment to see if you improve and stuff I got like a 96 the highest you get was 99 wow good job um, <clears throat> my favorite subject in school oh probably I had like the weirdest combination I liked a lot of I liked writing. I took a creative writing class. I also was in the literary journal club and I, I wrote poetry and did some art stuff for it. I'm actually published in a book from that school. Um, I What else? I really, really, really liked geometry. Not algebra, not any other kind of math, just geometry. I loved geometry. The teacher that taught it to me was amazing and I've thought about visiting him at the school I went to high school at, even though I think he goes and teaches at a different school now. I've thought about going to that school just to see him because he was so cool. Um, what was I going to say about that? Oh, I really liked geometry. I really liked earth science. <laughs> not biology, not chemistry, earth science. I really liked the study of like rocks and stuff. I know that's so weird, but 
I, I don't know. When I was a kid, I used to want to be a geologist, so the study of rocks was really interesting to me. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Was there anything else that I did in school that I really, really liked? Probably any art class. Like, I took... Uh, ceramics one year and that was cool. I took a painting class and that was cool. I took just regular art one standard and that was cool. Um, I also took a wood shop class once and that was really cool. Oh man, you guys are taking me back. I've been graduated for like five years and I'm like, man, what did I take again? <laughs> um, I think those are probably like my, and I really liked English. English was always easy for me because I liked writing. So, yeah, I would say. I was not really good at school, though. Like, school, I barely graduated. And it was just because I was lazy, though, not because I was dumb or didn't understand what I was doing. I just wouldn't do the homework because I didn't want to. So, my parents are not really big on, like, punishment. They would just kind of sternly give me a talk, and that would be it. Being the youngest of seven definitely has its perks. I never really got in trouble for much, but I was also a pretty easy kid to have. I was just lazy. So, um, yeah, I barely graduated high school, so probably asking me for any high school tips is bad, especially if it comes to being uh, good in school. <laughs> um, I have a mug that looks just like that mug, sisters. Heck yeah, Sophia! We are, or Sophie, sorry, Sophie. We are totally mug sisters. I want to get one just like it, but like in mint green. I think that'd be so pretty. I love chevron. I really do. And that's what this reminds me of. It's like a chevron. Um, ooh, sorry. I have my computer sitting on like a candle melter, but the melter's turned off. Basically just so I can have the camera at a nice eye level angle. So that's why it's really wobbly also. So I'm really sorry. Um, okay, more questions. What's your... No, I already answered that one. <clears throat> oh, man, I'm going to mess it up, though. Uh, do you celebrate Christmas with your entire family? P.S. Try to pronounce the name. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to mess it up because I know I'm going to. It's like... Because I don't know if the J is, like, silent or if it's, like... Kaja, Kaja, I don't, I don't want to do it. I don't want to. Don't make me. Um, that's the best you're gonna get. Uh, do you celebrate Christmas with your entire family? Um, since. My husband and I got married last year. We were not here for Christmas the last year. We were actually in Utah. But what we've decided to do now, because we have to incorporate both families, we want it to be fair, uh, we've decided to trade holidays, meaning every year we rotate, and this year we're going to be at my parents' house for Christmas Eve, and we're going to go to his family's house for Christmas, and we're just going to rotate. Um, every year. So next year he'll get Christmas Eve and I'll get Christmas. And Thanksgiving we haven't decided who gets what this year so that's going to be interesting to figure out. But um, my family usually, yes, I do get to see my entire family. His family too, but we have to go to like four houses, which to me that is the weirdest way to spend Christmas. I'm not trying to judge anybody that does that, but I've just never known a Christmas like that. Like my Christmas was always everybody came to my mom and dad's house and everybody was just there. You didn't have to go to multiple houses. And his family, it's like, oh, we have to go to our aunt's house and now we have to go to grandma's house and then we do something at their house too, like Andrew his actual mom or his dad's house and so it's really weird and kind of difficult actually it's it's I won't lie like it's hard for me to understand holidays that are done that way because I've never had to do it that way I was I just it's it's weird to me but and not only that but I think it is hard when you're used to spending your whole life with your family on a holiday and then like not seeing them that year on a certain day so that can be hard too but it's worth it and it's not like I don't get along with my husband's family because I do so um, this year is kind of the test runner year to see how we're gonna deal with that but uh, we're hoping for good results <laughs> okay do, 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 do. I have to go now, but thank you for answering my question. Love you. Oh, you're welcome, Charlotte Sims. Uh, thanks for coming. Bye. Um, if you could go in The Sims and be a Sim, who would you be? Like one of my Sims or like a pre-made Sim from the game? Because I can't really think of too many pre-made Sims, but if I was going to go in The Sims and be somebody from one of my LPs, I would want to be Isla. 
Like, I think that, yeah, she's a little bit nutty, but she has a pretty good life. She got picked up during a shipwreck, and, yeah, that's that sucks that she doesn't really know much. She has a beautiful daughter. She has all the money she could possibly need because this rich man picked her up. So, I don't know. I think I could live like Isla and be okay with that. <laughs> uh, let's see... <laughs> Simmer and Spice said, LOL, you were so pretty when you were younger. Thank you. Um, I was also, like, a lot skinnier. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at the likes and stuff on my uh, hashtag CoverFoxLive picture. Nobody else has posted hashtag CoverFoxLive. You guys, you should post something because I want to see your pictures. Um, so, thank you. I appreciate that you think I was pretty when I was younger. Um, Simmer and Spies, I like your nail color. Do you know what it is? My nail color, I actually need to go get them done again. They're growing out. But um, I went and had a gel manicure done at the nail salon, and I just picked the color that they had. They had, like, a palette of colors, and this one's, like, the mintiest green that they had. And so I picked that, and my toes are plum, so that's cool because my swimsuit's plum. Um, I'm actually due to go back and get them done again, though, and I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm thinking about lavender. Like, a lilac color would be pretty on my nails. I don't know. That is one thing. Like, I could live without getting my hair done for a long time, but the one thing I try to do once a month to spoil myself or, like, do something nice for myself is I always try to get my nails done because I just think it's nice, and it's, like, a nice, like, relaxation out of the home. Um, don't you hate it when people judge by appearance, etc., dumb blondes, and etc.? Oh, my goodness, yes. Super annoying, super rude. I could... Name people that are the epitome of that, but I won't. Uh, yeah, I agree. I really do hate that. <laughs> um, what is the hardest tongue twister that you've ever tried in your life so far? Oh, my goodness. I want to say it for you, but I'd rather get my husband to say it for you because if I say it, it's going to sound like I'm saying bad words, but he can do it. So hold on. Let me see if we can get him to come in here. I'm just going to call him. He's literally in the room next to mine, but I don't want to get up and walk out of here. So um, it's really funny, though, and I hope I can get him to do it. If not, I'm going to tell him you guys are all going to shame him. Uh, he might not answer, and I'm going to have to go over there and leave you guys. Come on, Andrew, answer the phone. I think I'm going to have to go get him. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm really sorry. And you're going to have to look at my really messy room for a couple minutes. Yay! I don't know. I've been doing this for a while. Can you shut the door, please? Oh, yeah. Oh, yay! We brought Andrew back with us. Okay, so the question was, what is the hardest tongue twister that you've ever tried in your life so far? So you have to tell them, because if I say it, I'm going to say the F word on accident, because I do it every time, because you don't say the F word, but it sounds like you do. Okay. <laughs> the, the tongue twister is, it's... I'm not the pheasant plucker, I'm the pheasant plucker's mate. I'm only plucking pheasants because the pheasant plucker's late. And just try to wrap your head around it, and then you're going to say fuck a lot. And everyone's going <laughs> to... Don't say that word! <laughs> yeah, that is probably the hardest one. I can't do it, and I'm not going to try. But um, do, you, do you have anything else to say? Anything else? No. No. <laughs> Okay, so yes, that is the hardest one, and I had to get him to do it because I can't. 
Aw, somebody said hi to you. Hi, Andrew. Aw, tell me said hi. Yay. Everybody loves my PJs, apparently. <laughs> um, okay. I don't think anybody else has any questions for you. Okay. Nobody else is asking, so ah, stop shaking my desk, please. <clears throat> so, thanks for coming. Appreciate it. It was awesome. Bye. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> um, okay, I just saw a really good question. Where did it go? Okay, uh, Sasha, Sasha Gurley wants to know, what would you be doing without YouTube? Um, I would probably be doing exactly what I was doing before, which was working at a call center that I hated and hating life. I didn't mess, I wouldn't say hate life. Like I just lived for the weekends and I lived for a paycheck. I worked for a paycheck. I hated what I did. And YouTube has just been super, 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 super awesome. Um, so yeah, I'd probably be working a job that I hate and it would suck. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. Questions. <laughs> Diaz lover, still watching you instead of cleaning my house. Wait till my husband gets home. <laughs> oh, well, look at my room. It's a mess. Um, I don't play Assassin's Creed. I do not, unfortunately. My husband does, though, and he loves Assassin's Creed. Um, do you have any weird habits? Talking to myself? That's kind of a weird habit. But it's like, okay, let me explain. It's not like I just, like, have conversations with myself or hear people or see people. I'm not crazy. <laughs> um... No, I just, like, if I'm alone and something's really bothering me or, like, on my brain, if only if I'm alone. If I know that someone else is there, I will not do it. But it's, like, honestly very therapeutic to just talk myself through it, like, out loud. And don't lie to me. Everybody talks to themselves. They'll be like, oh, crap, I forgot this thing. Or, you know, even if it's just little small things, I think everybody talks to themselves a little bit. But I could sit for hours and just talk myself through something if it's like really on my mind. I would say that's a weird habit. I don't know anybody else that does that. So what was your dream as a child? Like what did I want to be? Um, as a child, what did I want to be? There were so many things I wanted to be. I wanted to be an astronaut. I wanted to be a geologist. I wanted to be a fashion designer. I wanted to be a backup dancer. Um, and these were all at different stages of my life. I wanted to be an author for a really long time. Um, I wanted to be an author probably all through high school and an English major. Like I wanted to go to school to be an English major so I could write books for a living. Um, I wanted to be a film editor, which is what I'm doing now, which I love it. I do that basically while playing games and then I edit my own videos and um, I went to school to be a film editor and that was awesome. Um, I never wanted to be a doctor. That was never on my list. I do not like blood. Nope, 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 nope. Um, I'm sure there were more things like there. I have wanted to do so many different things. Oh, I used to want to be a chef. I went to culinary school for like a semester and a half. That was really fun. I still love cooking. I just realized I didn't want to be in a kitchen for the rest of my life. And so I was like, why am I doing this? I don't want to cook forever. I want to cook for my family, not for like people at a restaurant. So I quit going to culinary school. Um, I, did, I went to school to be an English major, too, for, like, a hot minute. But really, I didn't lose any credits there because for college courses, like, those credits counted towards my next major. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I never wanted to teach. Well, yeah, no, I never wanted to be a teacher. Even though I received, like, an award as a kid. I got the Distinguished Teacher Award, which is, like, your teacher says that she thinks, he or she thinks you're most likely to become a teacher. Yeah, no, I just, I could not see myself being a teacher. Um, if, if I was a teacher, I would probably have to teach high school or college level. Um, I don't, it's not that I don't like kids. It's that I have a hard time with mass quantities of them. Like, I couldn't, I don't know if I could handle myself in a room full of children. <laughs> Um, what else? I think that's about it. Like, that was, that's a pretty good list of the things I wanted to be as a kid. Ooh, sorry. I set my coffee cup down all hard. Um, okay. 
So that was a good one. What was the weirdest thing you've ever done in your life so far? Ooh, I have a really good story for this one. You guys are going to be like, chicka what? But it really was weird. Um, so I don't know if it was a scam, sham, whatever you want to call it, but my sister right above me, Kelsey, uh, she got an email saying that she and I had won some kind of thing that was being given away, and we needed to go audition for Nickelodeon, like the channel, Nickelodeon, the kids' channel. So we go down to L.A. with my mother, and we auditioned, like both of us. We auditioned. They gave us a couple sets of lines. They taught us a few things. Uh, and we actually, there's somewhere out in the world, there is a video of me auditioning. Like, not on the internet, I don't believe, but like, just like, I think it was really more before the internet became a big thing. Um, somebody somewhere has a video of me auditioning for Nickelodeon. And the weird thing is, is that I did get a call back. I got a call back, but on our way back to the second, and my sister did too, on our way back to the second thing, um, the second acting whatever thing, we got lost, and we never knew what happened, and like, if I, for all you guys know, I could have been a big Nickelodeon star, but it didn't happen. That was probably the weirdest thing I've ever done. Like, never have I been so big on acting. I mean, I'm pretty comfortable in front of the camera. Like, this doesn't bother me at all. Um, it, at all. I feel like I'm talking to, like, my best friends. It's not hard, but, um... I don't know, it's, I kind of have always had like a thing for acting, but never enough to like want to pursue it. <laughs> so yeah, I would definitely say that was probably the weirdest thing I've ever done. Um, okay. Have you got any regrets? Charlotte Sims wants to know. Um... I kind of covered this earlier. No, not really. I don't regret things because anything that I feel like was really detrimental or really affected my life in a negative way, I don't regret it because everything I could think of taught me something so major that I needed to learn in order to be the person that I am now. So not really, and I like the person that I am, so I... I don't have regrets. I really don't. I can't think of anything that I've, like, super hardcore regretted ever. Maybe, like, saying something to someone, like, if it hurt someone's feelings, but nothing, like, huge. <laughs> Who is your favorite Harry Potter character? Anubis PT wants to know. Um... I'm trying to think about this. <laughs> Who would be my favorite Harry Potter character? That's like a really loaded question. I should probably lock the door and now realize because I think my mom is going to be home and knowing her, she'd like walk in here and she'd be mad if she was on camera. Like she is not the kind of person that would be comfortable with something like that. So I'm going to lock the door really quick while I think about who my favorite character is. Um, see, I want to say Hermione. I do. Um... I want to say Hermione, but I feel like that's such a generic answer. Like, everybody loves Ron, Harry, and Hermione. I want to give you, like, a different answer. Um. Hmm. Probably Draco. <laughs> um. But the thing is, is I like Draco... I like make-believe Draco, like the person that you can read about in fan fictions that people have made up. So probably if it was like an actual, like from the book or from the movie, I read the books too, I would probably go with Hermione just because like, how could you not like her? You just, I love her. But yeah, probably Draco, but more like on a fictional, I mean he is fictional, but more, even more fictional than the actual fiction book or movie. So um, I really, I ship... I ship uh, Draco and Ginny. It's kind of a guilty pleasure of mine. <laughs> and also, Draco and Hermione. I like that ship, too. Thank you for loving my PJs, Anubis. I appreciate it. I love Mario. My husband has a matching pair. Um, coffee with Copper and Afternoon with Andrew. I have to go now, but I could watch this all day. You should do it again. Aw, thank you. Bye. Hi, Abaya. Thanks for coming. That was really awesome of you to join us. Um... Let's see. What would you think if you were 
if you were pregnant and were told you were having triplets, O M G. I just think I would want to die. <laughs> Not because I don't love kids, because I do, but three of them all at once. Oh my gosh. Not only is that going to wreck my body, like, I'm already handicapped. So carrying three babies instead of one would probably be really hard on my body. Um, that would just wreck me, I'm sure. I couldn't imagine having three newborns all at once. That's, like, not even just, like, the birth, but just, like, having to take care of them all at once. I mean, maybe a little TMI or, like, a little weird to talk about, but, I mean, come on. If you're going to breastfeed, you only have two boobs, not three. So how are you going to do that? Um... Even the thought of having twins scares me. So, like, triplets, oh, my goodness. I know people do it, but I don't know how. Um, I cannot imagine having triplets, or twins, for that matter. I just want one. I mean, twins, I think, is more acceptable. I would be, like, less upset. But if I was going to have triplets, it would probably take me a little while to get over that. Like, I'd probably be a little upset at first and be like, why? I just wanted one, not three at once. I probably wouldn't have any more kids after that. Uh, three is quite a lot. <laughs> but, yeah. So that that would be scary. Like, don't even, don't even jinx me with that. <laughs> I think it would just be really, it would be really hard. <laughs> Um, let's see. I'm going to scroll down again and try to catch some of these older comments. Oops. Uh, Summer Sims wants to know, what is the worst thing that has ever happened to you? Mm, ooh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, the worst thing that has ever happened to me. <sighs> Being that I'm a romantic at heart, and even though I do not harbor feelings for this person at all anymore, like, at all, at all, like, just no. <laughs> it still, like, it was, when I think about it now, it still breaks my heart a little bit, just because of how sad, like, it just felt sad. Um... <laughs> And is it, you guys are going to be like, really, that's the worst thing that's ever happened to you? Like, there are probably other things, too, that I could think of, but this one just was the first one that came to mind. But when I actually broke up with my first boyfriend, even though he loves to tell people that he broke up with me, that's not how it was. Um, I broke up with him. He was really into the drug scene. I didn't want to be a part of that. Um, I don't do drugs. I just don't. Um, <clears throat> I might drink sometimes, but I do not do drugs. And he was really deep into the drug scene. I didn't want to be a part of that. I didn't want him to drag me down with him. And so I broke up with him. Probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to do because I really did care about him. And I just remember, and I don't know why, to me it was just like sad. I don't know. Like it's in that moment I knew that this was like the last time. Like it was the last time we were ever going to talk like we were boyfriend and girlfriend and we were ever going to be a couple. Like once I walked out of the room that I was breaking up with him in, that was going to be the end of it. And I just remember he kissed me goodbye. And it was the saddest thing ever. <laughs> and I remember, like, even to this day, I've even told my husband, if, like, you die before me or if something happens and we're not together anymore, do not ever kiss me goodbye. Like, that to me is just so sad. Do not ever. Do not ever kiss somebody goodbye because it sucks. And I have that memory burned into my brain forever now, so... Um, yeah, don't kiss people goodbye. I mean, maybe if you're coming back after, like, a week vacation, sure. But not if it's, like, the end all, you know? Um. And nope. Sorry. Sorry, text about a rental that's out kind of close to where I live. I'm not really looking to move right this minute, but keeping my eyes peeled for places. Okay. <clears throat> Um, more questions. How old were you when you met your husband? That is a great question. Uh, I was in the eighth grade when I met him. We did not start dating then, but, um, so that would make me, what, like 13? We met in 2000, oh my gosh, what year was that? 2005, I think? Was it 2005? I think so, I think it was 2005 I met him. So 2005 or 2004, one of the, it might have been 2004. 
Um, but if it was 2004, it was like the tail end of 2004. I want to say it was 05, though. So what is that? Almost 10 years? We're coming up on 10 years? Um, ugh, sorry. I didn't start dating him until 2008, though. Uh, we were barely even friends. We were like acquaintances. I never looked at him like that, and he never looked at me like that. So it was really weird that we started dating. <laughs> Um, no, Draco and Hermione would never work, wouldn't ever, work, wouldn't work ever. He is a muggle-born hating tool, and Hermione is way too good for him. See? But that's the beauty. That's the beauty in the ship of having Hermione and Draco, because it's like forbidden love. I'm all about that. I'm all about, like, the forbidden. If you read fan fiction based on it, you'd probably like it, because when I first saw that, I was like, ew, who would pair them together? And then I read, like, two or three really good fan fiction pieces, and I was like, you know what? This would be amazing if it had happened. <laughs> so, um, what's your fear? I really fear death, um, like a lot. I mean, I know everybody like fears. I'm sure some people to a degree fear death, but like I really fear death. I don't. I'm really afraid of the unknown. I don't, and that's like typical in anything in my life. I don't like the unknown. I don't like not knowing what's going to happen when I die. I don't like, um, I don't like even going to the doctor and not knowing like a procedure that they're going to do or like not knowing exactly what's going to happen scares me because I'm really into planning and I plan a lot of my day and the future and it's just, I hate the unknown. I really do. It scares me. <laughs> I also really don't like heights. I'm afraid of heights, like a lot. Don't like heights. I would never go skydiving or zip lining or any of that. But I love roller coasters, so go figure. Who's your favorite Disney princes and princesses? My favorite Disney princess is Belle because I love her. My favorite Disney prince is probably Prince Eric from uh, Little Mermaid. <laughs> Okay, this is highly requested up here. Hi, Abaya asked, what's your favorite game other than The Sims and for each device? Uh, I kind of answered this question already, but I said, like, Kingdom Hearts was one of them, and I also really liked Little Big Planet. It's a good one, too. I don't think I mentioned that. Little Big Planet, and I have one more, and I don't remember what it was. So, sorry, but great games, both the ones I just mentioned. Oh, Mario. Anything Mario. Love Mario. Um... PlayStation 3, because I don't have a 4, probably Little Big Planet and Kingdom Hearts. Uh, Nintendo Wii, probably Mario Galaxy. But Super Nintendo, Super Mario World. That is like the best Mario game. Um, yeah, that's, that's computer, The Sims, obviously. Have you ever had a reoccurring dream that you remember? Um, yes. It was really creepy, too. And I don't remember it well because it was a long time ago. But it was scary. Like, there was, like, a little kid riding a tricycle through a creepy forest. And then the kid would, like, stop in front of this house that was covered in vines. And there was, like, blood dripping down the door. And then my ex-boyfriend would open the door every time. And it was when we had broken up already, so I don't really know what was going on. But I had that dream, like, four times. And don't know why, but it was really scary. And... I really, yeah, I don't know why I would have a dream like that. Okay. Um, hold on one second. Okay. Shoot, there we go. Uh, What time is it where you live? It's 23:28. Oh, I don't know military time, so 23, what is that? Like 10, 11, 11:28, I think. Um, it is 3:41 p.m. here, but that's not military time, so it's uh, I think that's like 15:41 military time. It's in the afternoon <laughs> here. 
But it is cloudy outside, so and that's why I was like, I'm not doing my hair because it's also really humid here today, which is weird because we don't really get a lot of humidity in Southern California. But it's really humid today, and my hair is just like, so whatever. <clears throat> Um, wait, what was, I just saw a question that I wanted to answer and I don't know where it went. Dang it, I hate it when that happens. <laughs> what do I do if I see you in public, Cinnamon Toasty wants to know. If you see me in public, you should come over and say hi. I'll probably get embarrassed at first, like no joke. I'll probably turn a little bit red because that's just how I am. And But I would probably be really excited. I've never had anybody see me in public, like a fan, and be like, oh my gosh, I watch your channel. I've never had that happen. And I think it would be really like, whoa. It'd be really cool, and I would want to meet people in person. I want to wait until I have like... And not because I'm trying to win a popularity contest or anything, but I just think I would have a better turnout. I want to wait until I have about 100,000 subscribers, and then I'm going to do a meetup, probably in L.A., um, probably at, like, a Starbucks or something, because it's far enough away from my home that I feel like nobody's going to be creepy and follow me home if there are any creepy people. And L.A. is just a good meetup area because it's a lot more well-known and people, like, it's iconic, you know, to go to L.A. So at least if we went to L.A., maybe we could all do something fun together. So eventually I do want to do a meetup, but I want to wait until my fan base is a little bit bigger just because I don't, like... I don't want to, I want to give as many people that want to come the chance to come. So that's kind of it too. I don't want like, don't get me wrong, if I did it and one person showed up, we would probably have a blast together. But I just want to wait a little bit longer. Um, did you like The Last of Us? I actually don't know what that is. Uh, I don't know if anyone asked this already, but what's your favorite Let's Play that you've done so far for The Sims 3? Probably my all-in-one that's still going right now. Uh, I really enjoy that one. I love the characters. I love the depth that I've given to the characters, and it's just like crazy dramatic, and so many, so much like drama happens, and the drama bomb is about to drop in the next episode too. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go check the hashtag right now. <clears throat> Somebody said, or Sophie said, go check the hashtag. So I'm gonna go check it. <gasps> oh my goodness! You guys posted more. Ha, you put up a derpy face of me. I love it. <laughs> and, aw, yay. I'll like your pictures. Okay. A couple people posted, actually. I liked both your photos. Um, <clears throat> that makes me really happy that people are posting in the hashtag. <laughs> um, bye, Sophie, or Sophia. Sophia's leaving us. Thanks for joining. It was really fun. I don't, actually don't know how much longer I'm going to do this, but I feel like more and more people are showing up, so I feel like I shouldn't leave. Like, when we started, it was like 30 people, and we've more than doubled, so I feel like I shouldn't leave. If you guys have questions and you're new to the live stream right now, please feel free to ask literally anything. Like... You could ask me whatever, even if you feel like it's possibly something I would not answer, ask me anyways, and I will try my best. Um, if it's something that I feel like is highly inappropriate, I probably won't answer it, but I'm not going to, like, shame you for it if you really wanted to know. Um, can you name my pug? Um, is your pug a boy or a girl? And... It also depends, like, on the personality of the pug. Like, are they playful? Are they... I don't know. Like, I, there's so many things that go into naming an animal. I've always wanted to name an animal Skittles. I thought that would be really cool. I've always wanted to name, like, a dog or a cat or something Skittles. So you could name your pug Skittles. <clears throat> Um, what else? Oh, thank you, Anubis, for loving my PJs. I love my PJs, too. Um, <laughs> one word to describe myself. Uh, probably anxious. <laughs> Honestly, like, I will keep myself awake at night thinking of, like, every embarrassing thing in my life that I've ever done and... I get anxious when I have to, like, 
go see people the next day. I get really anxious by big crowds. Um, I am just a really anxious person. I try not to be, and it's definitely more under control than it used to be. It used to be a lot, a lot, a lot worse. I can actually get myself to come out of my shell a little bit more now and see more people, but it can be scary sometimes. Um, okay, what else? Um, would you ever get a dog, and what breed would you get? I really, really, really like Shih Tzus. That's an awesome breed. Um, I also really like Samoyeds. Samoyeds are so pretty. Samoyed or uh, my husband really wants to get a Corgi someday. They're really cute, but it's definitely not my first choice, but I would do it if that's really what he wanted. Like, imagine my husband's face. If I, like, did the typical, like, Christmas morning, I gave him a box with a puppy in it. Like, if I ever do that, I promise I will film it because he would just be like, oh, my gosh, you got me a corgi. Like, maybe someday. <laughs> um, let's see. Are more people, are you guys still posting in the hashtag? Not yet. Just a couple people. Do, do, do. Hashtag Copper Fox Live for anybody new that just showed up. Um, it's it's oh wait, wait I was reading that. Come back. It, it was talking about the Puggles. I wanted to read that. It's a girl. She's playful, has three legs, and I have a cat named Skittles. Oh my goodness, that's so awesome! I wish I had a cat named Skittles. Um, playful has three legs and a cat named Skittles. Great minds. Seriously, great minds do think alike. I wish I had a cat named Skittles. Um, I'm trying to think. What is, like, a really good... I don't want it to be something lame. I really do love the name Skittles, though. That's so awesome that that is, like, one that you already picked. Um, I really don't know. That's hard. My husband loves pugs. I should ask him. Be like, what's a good pug name? You should just call it Puggles. Because that's honestly, every time I see a pug, that's what I say. I'm always like, oh, Puggles. Puggles would be fun, but that's, like, so generic. Like, I'm sure so many people say that now and probably name their dog Puggles. Um, um, I'm going to have to think about that one a little bit longer. If I think of something, I will say it, though. Do, do, do. Do you watch Dance Moms? I do not watch Dance Moms. Can you name my sugar glider? I'm getting it soon. Oh, a sugar glider? That's so awesome. You guys are so cool with all your awesome pets. I don't have any pets. Oh, that's a lie. That's totally a lie. I have a pet fish right there. Um, you cannot see him, but his name is Thor. Um, you could name your sugar glider Thor. That'd be pretty cool. We could have an animal that has like the same name. Or I also really like um, Moby. I think Moby is a super cute name for any for your pug or for your sugar glider Moby. Like especially for the sugar glider though, because like mobile, like I don't know, sugar glider. They're like woo, they're mobile. So Moby, I think Moby's cute. But I, you might totally hate that name. <laughs> <laughs> um, what animal describes you? Probably a cat. Um, any kind of cat. I love cats. Sometimes instead of talking to my husband, I just meow at him. <laughs> but he does it back. We're a very odd couple. <laughs> what are some of your pet peeves? Um, I know I have some. I know I do. I just can't think of any. And I'm sure it's something like it's it makes me crazy when I have the laundry hamper sitting specifically out and my husband will throw his towel or his shirts on the floor or his socks. Heaven forbid that it is the socks because I have to hunt all over the house for socks when I want to do laundry for him anyways. So that is probably a humongous pet peeve is not putting the clothes in the hamper. It makes me crazy. Um... Okay, I really am gonna scroll like way down because I feel like a lot of questions are getting are getting buried. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, Catherine, I can't say your last name, but she said meeting your husband in eighth grade is so cute, right? I think we're adorable. 
Uh, do you get nightmares after watching a scary movie? I do sometimes. <laughs> Are you the boss over the furnishing in your house? Not this house. This is my parents' house, but mm, probably with me and my husband, I would say that I have more of a say in the placement of the furniture. Like, if I think the bed should go in one location and the dresser should be here and, you know, the couch should be in this spot, I'm more apt to get to dictate where the furniture gets to go. But we definitely equally pick our furniture out together. Like, I would never make that decision without him. I would never pick a couch out without him agreeing on it and being with me. Um, let's see. Um, Issa Movies wants to know, have you ever been on a diet? Oh, my goodness, I've probably been on every diet under the sun. I did Weight Watchers for a little bit. Um, I did the three-day diet, which is terrible. Don't ever do that to yourself. Um... I've done a little bit of Atkins dieting before. I did the HCG diet, which I also don't recommend. Um, actually, I think that's it. <laughs> so not every diet under the sun, but all of them did not work for me. Maybe they would work for you. They did not work for me. Honestly, what helps me the most is what I do now, which I just try to make healthier choices and just kind of watch my portions. That's really it, and making sure that... I eat more vegetables in my diet than anything. I mean, I still eat meat. I'm not a vegetarian, and I still have carbs and stuff. But honestly, just trying to make healthier choices really helps. And just making little changes, like changing out your um, butter for, like, olive oil or just, like, taking it easier on your dressings and actually measuring things out. Like, taking – if you're going to have a quarter cup of rice, take the quarter cup into the rice pan, measure it out, and put it on your plate. Like, it's just – things like that, I think, really make a huge difference. So, um, that, I wouldn't really call that a diet, though. Uh, Issa Movies also wants to know, what's your favorite cereal? My favorite cereal of all time, if I'm, I'm going to eat it, which is very rare because it's really, really, really sugary, and I'm really, I try to not eat a lot of sugar, mostly because with the condition I have, sugar is really hard on my body. I'm not a diabetic, but um, anyways, not the point. I do try to stay away from sugar as much as I can, but if I'm going to eat cereal, I really, really, really like Waffle Crisp. Um, Eggo Waffle also makes a cereal that's almost identical to it. It's like eating tiny, crunchy waffles with milk. It's so good. Um, <laughs> are you in Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, or Slytherin? I'm in Slytherin. Uh, yeah, I'm in Slytherin. Ooh, totally, actually. You know what? I wish I was cool enough for Slytherin. Like, if I got to pick my house, I would be in Slytherin. But probably if the hat was put on my head, they would have put me in Gryffindor. I'm, like, not mean enough to be a Slytherin, even though that's what I, where I would want to be. Mostly just so I could be with Draco, though, just saying. Okay, sorry, I'm scanning through questions. Um... Wait, I saw a good question and I lost it. Whoa, do the new questions actually come in at the bottom and I'm crazy? <gasps> yes, Summer Sim says, do you like Adventure Time or watch it? I love Adventure Time and yes, I do watch it. <clears throat> Uh, what's your favorite thing about Island Paradise? Definitely mermaids. Love mermaids. They are fabulous. Wait. Have you ever felt insecure? Like, have you ever been afraid to go out somewhere because you know there will be a lot of people? Yes. Um, I probably felt like that up until, like, two years ago. Like, felt like I didn't even want to leave my house. And... I think a lot of that just had to come with experience and, like, kind of figuring out who I was myself. Like, two years ago, I would have listened to, even still, at, like, age 20, I would have listened to anything my parents told me and believed it, and I didn't really have my own brain, I guess. I just would kind of take what other people 
what other people said and base my own opinions off of what other people thought or wanted me to be. And somewhere along the lines, very gradually, I stopped doing that. I think that's something that usually teenagers go through, but I went through it a lot later in life. Or not that much later, but a little bit later. And yeah, I used to be really insecure until I kind of figured out who I wanted to be which took a lot of work. It was not something I just did overnight. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get to questions, but they keep popping up because there's so many. Like, I'm trying to focus on one, and then it will, like, move. Um, boop -a -boop -a -boop -boop. One thing we don't know about you. Okay, this is going to be the final question because it's kind of a big deal, at least to me, and I have gotten asked a lot, and I will probably do a video on it on my second channel, and it's probably going to be kind of long, but <clears throat> I, and I don't want you guys to be afraid to ask me about it, ever, 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 because it's something that I'm very comfortable talking about, very comfortable sharing it with you, and I would rather people ask than wonder. So... I have mentioned on several occasions that I'm handicapped, and no, I've gotten asked a few times, like, how are you handicapped? What's wrong? But I don't think enough people actually ask, and maybe you guys really just don't care. I don't know, and that's fine, too, if you don't care and you just love me anyways. That's cool. But I'm going to share kind of the story on my handicap, and I'm going to try to give you the Cliff Notes version. So, and I've been wanting to do this for a long time, so that's why I'm going to take this question and I'll probably do like a speed round of questions right after this for like two minutes and then I'm gonna go but because I have been here for like two hours I think but <clears throat> anyways my mother <laughs> it actually starts before I was born when my mother was pregnant with me first of all she had me when she was 39 38 or 39 so usually women that are in their later 30s have a harder time carrying children or you know have complications that really doesn't necessarily have that much to do with why I'm handicapped but they wanted to do a procedure on my mom called an amniocentesis I will never get one of these done when I have kids ever and I'm gonna tell you why right now they wanted to do this because it tests kids for things like Down syndrome or if your baby's gonna come out basically with any abnormalities and so they did this amniocentesis on my mom just because she was a little bit older and so they wanted to test for those things because it's more common in women that are older so <clears throat> they did this amniocentesis and when they do it it's a really big needle and it punctures the sac that the baby is in basically and when they did that um, I'm not sure, and neither is she, at exactly what happened, but when she went home, her water broke at 17 weeks. She was 17 weeks pregnant with me, and if you guys don't know, uh, when you're pregnant, you have to carry a baby for, like, I think up to 40 weeks, like 38 weeks, 38, 40 weeks. So 17 weeks, that's really early. That's, like, not even halfway yet. And <clears throat> so she went back to the hospital, and they told her, you might as well just get an abortion because your baby is not going to make it and it's going to be gone on its own. I know this is a lot of information and maybe even a little bit personal for some of my younger audience, but like I said, I feel like it's really important to share and I'm just stating all facts, all factual information here. So my mom said, no, I can't do that. Um, she does not believe in things like that and so she said no. They actually told her, I'm sorry you feel that way, which is horrible because obviously I'm still here. So um, they put her on bed rest, and she carried me from 17 weeks all the way to, I think, like 30, I want to say like 30 weeks maybe. or I, I, I was born early, um, earlier than I was supposed to be. <laughs> but anyways, um, she gave, I, I, my due date was at the end of, or was like mid-June slash early July. I had like a couple due dates, and I was born in the middle of May. So <clears throat> uh, when she gave birth to me, they told her I wasn't, go I was early, first of all. I weighed like four pounds, which now that's a little bit more common. Some people do have four-pound babies, and they're fine. But in the 90s, technology wasn't as advanced as it is now, and they probably could have done even different things then than they could or different things now than they did for me then. But anyways, they told my mom I wasn't going to, my mom and dad, I wasn't going to make it through the night, um, I was going to die, whatever. 
well, one night turned into a week, and then a week turned into a month, and then a month turned into three months, and I spent a lot of time in the hospital. I was born and had to be on 100% oxygen. I couldn't breathe on my own. My left leg was all the way turned around. It could, my heel could kick me in my forehead, like I could touch my forehead with my heel. Um, both of my hips are... Um, sorry, I can see your guys' questions still flooding in. Um, both of my hips are dislocated. They don't stay in the socket. And, well, they do now because I've had corrective surgery. But basically, when I was born, say that this is your hip socket and this is your hip. They're supposed to fit together like this. Mine would just kind of do this thing where they would not stay together. It would just slip right out. So dislocated hips. And my left knee, I still, to this day, couldn't tell you what was really wrong with it. My leg was completely turned around, and my knee, and I almost want to, like, draw it for you, but I'm not going to. Um, it's really hard to explain. It was not backwards. Um, I've said that before, but that really wasn't what it was. Like, most people's knees bend, if you bend your knees, they bend, like, out in front of you, you know? Um, one of my legs is fine. Like, that knee is perfectly fine. The other one, when I would go to bend it, instead of bending outward, it would bend in towards my other knee. So it, it did look weird, and I wish I had pictures for you, but I don't. <laughs> so I was just a mess, basically. Huge mess, was always constantly sick, in and out of the hospital my entire, like, first year. And I've had more surgeries on my hips than I could even count. I've I spent a lot of summers as a kid in a body cast from, like, the waist down. Um, and I've had one knee surgery, just one, because they waited until I was old enough to have my knee operated on uh, because they didn't want to hit the growth plate in my leg. So uh, one knee surgery, several, several, several hip surgeries, and I'm good now. I can walk my legs both face the way that they're supposed to. My knees bend like they're supposed to. Um, sometimes it's hard. I do get a lot of joint pain, um, and I do kind of walk with a limp a little bit. Uh, just because I do have one leg that's longer than the other one. So, uh, this is like the longest story ever. <laughs> but I really felt like it needed to be shared, and especially even if I had, like, family. Like, I feel like my husband's side of the family, I don't even know if they're watching right now, but if you are, I feel like nobody really knows that story. Like, I haven't even shared it with them, so um, it's kind of a good place to, I guess, share all of that. And... That's kind of it. Um, the last surgery I had was when I was about 12, so it's been like 11 years. And eventually I am going to have to have hip replacements and a knee replacement. And that's what I've been told anyways, but not anytime soon. I hope, fingers crossed. Um, but it does, like, it, it, it's cool now because I can still walk. I just can't really run or do any sports aside from swimming. And I definitely feel a lot more joint pain, like I said. And it also sucks because when me and my husband go to start our family, I'm not going to be able to, like, have kids the natural way. I'm probably going to have to have C-section and because my hips won't be able to do what they're supposed to. And what else can I tell you? I guess that's kind of it. <laughs> so, super, super long story. Um, I hope that that was an interesting story and that answers anybody's questions that had them. I don't really see any comments about anything, but I'm still... Um, but I'm maybe they're, like, at the bottom. Um, oh my gosh, you guys, so many questions. I'm really surprised that there are so many. I love you guys. You're great. Uh, I really wish there were more questions about what I'm currently talking about, but I don't see anything. <laughs> Chloe is a Pegasus sister. Heck yeah. I'm going to select that one. That's funny. I'm taking that. Um, I think I'm actually at the bottom of the questions. Wow, that took a really long time to scan down here. Um, okay, 
So I think I'm just going to like answer. I'm going to set a timer on my phone for two minutes and just spam me questions because I'm going to answer as many as I can in like two minutes. No, you know what? Let's do three minutes because two minutes seems too short, but five minutes seems too long. So um, I'm going to do three minutes and then I'm going to go because this is really long. Don't get me wrong. I love answering your guys' questions. You're all fantastic. So be sure to plus one any of the questions you really want answered and ready, set, go. Okay. Do, 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 do. Did you get The Sims 2 Ultimate Collection? I have not downloaded it. Is it still free? Because if it is, I really should do that. Uh, I'm going to create a Sims version of my family for my personal Hunger Games challenge, but I'd still be watching. But I'll still be watching, Kay. That's awesome. You have to let me know how it goes because that's a really cool idea. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. If you had a magical animal... If you had a magical animal, what would it be? It would be a white tiger because they're my favorite and it would have a gold leash. Just, or a gold collar. Forget leashes. If it was magical, it wouldn't need a leash. But um, just like that song, Royals. I love that song. Uh, do you know I Has Cupcake? Have you heard of her? Yes, I have heard of her. I've watched a few of her videos. She's actually really great. I don't know her personally, but uh, yeah. Throw a surprise party for when she comes back. Uh, I don't know who we were talking about, so I'm sorry. I wish I did. When did you have your first date? I had my first date... Oh my goodness, when was my first date? Probably when I was like 15. It was with this kid named Marcus, and I would consider it a first date because... No, my like first boyfriend never took me out. This guy did. He was a really sweetheart. I wish we still talked. Um, yeah, he was a cool guy at the time. I don't know if he's still cool because we don't talk anymore. And I wish we did. It makes me sad face. But uh, I believe he took me to the movies. No, we went and played chess at Starbucks and had drinks and I made him cookies and it was it was so cute. I had such a crush on him. Um, what's your favorite Pixar film? Wally, -E, all the way. Love Wally. -E. Such, so amazing. How long are you going to continue posting on YouTube? As long as I'm still trucking. I mean, I don't think I'm going to be like 80 and still doing YouTube, but for the time being, I really love it, and I don't have a set endpoint. Um, how I have to go now, see you, and thank you for answering my questions. You're welcome, Anubis. Uh, my favorite color is mustard yellow. Mustard yellow. Thank you, Cake Simmer. Um, what is your favorite flavor of ice cream? My favorite flavor of ice cream is probably something with cake, like cake batter, or I also really enjoy cookies and cream. That's a really good one. What's your favorite baby name? My favorite baby name is Anya. I think I covered that earlier. I want to name my daughter that someday when I have a baby. Um, if you have power, if you had powers, what power would I have? Probably is what you meant. Um, I would want the power to either read minds or be invisible. Either one of those would be really cool. Uh, when did you have your first kiss? I had my first kiss when I was a sophomore in high school. It was out in front of my school. It was really awkward. And when we first kissed, cute story, but awkward. Um, he like missed, oh no, the timer's done. I'm going to finish this question, but then I'm going to go. Um, when I had my first kiss, he, like, missed my mouth, and it was, like, he kissed me, like, over here because I moved because I didn't know what he was doing because he was taller than me, and then I straight up asked him, can we do that again, and then he kissed me again, and it was, like, magical fireworks, but um, he was not a very good kisser, though. Just that first time was, like, the one and only. Anyways, that is all. I'm going to go. I really wish I had more time to answer all of your guys' question because they were great and I wish I had like all day to sit here and just answer questions for you guys but uh, thank you so much for watching I hope if you're watching this later when it's not live you had a good time listening to me ramble forever and ever and ever it was really fun doing this we should do more of them maybe on like a monthly basis and I will see you guys tomorrow with another Sims video and yep that's all I got for you guys so bye thank you so much